Oh. Hello everyone, welcome back to another cult theatre stream. I'm Freddy. I'm Brina. I'm Judith. No, I'm Joe. And to, <laughs> unfortunately, today we're missing a Laura, but uh, that's okay, because Laura's very unconscious. All right. Oh, not, in, not in reality, obviously. No, no, sorry, yeah, uh, in the game, in the game, yes. <laughs> so she's okay. So, uh, now, what happened last time? Uh, can someone give me a quick update as to uh, what's been going on? Um, in a galaxy far away from you, because you're lucky you're in a safe galaxy, are <laughs> heroes, or questionably heroes, because I might be a little bit evil, we're not sure yet, have set into the bad guy red temple with a cool-ass sword and a gauntlet of gold? And we have pissed off a force ghost that looks like an old man, um, Jabba used silly string and explosives to get rid of a bunch of robots that were coming down some stairs. Uh, we barricaded off a door, and then I turned evil, me being Cutie Pie the bunny robot, and Jammer and I had a falling out whilst I was evil, causing us both to fall unconscious. Meanwhile, RU12 is shooting the two statues? No, it's shooting one, one statue, because one, one of them's like, chill, right? Yeah. The other is like grumpy and being <laughs> held up in the air. Yeah. Um, and RU12 still has not used the sword that he was supposed to be using. So we'll see what happens there because RU12 is the sniper boy. Yeah. I'm um, doing that because it pisses Brina off. Yes. <laughs> um, and now we're up to Silva uh, experiencing the Force Ghost existing with my beautiful drawing. You can see how angry mm -hmm. he is. Oh my god, what an artist you are. Amazing. Thank you. <laughs> That's yeah. where we at. Excellent. Am I going first? I'm going to use the sword. All right. Uh, straight, back in, uh, straight back into combat. Um, yes. Uh, are you one too? You're up first. So that's a yes, then? Yes, that is yeah. a yes. Right, now, what's my movement? I don't know, mm -hmm. but I, I'm meant to be using the sword on this dude, Brina. Is that right? I'm unconscious. <laughs> no, you're actually, not. It's... you're Brina and you're alive and well. <laughs> it's this guy, but I don't think you can see him. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> how, do, how do I guess? <laughs> All right. Um... I, can't, I can't move the sword. <laughs> and draw your own sword. sword. <laughs> yep. No. Uh. Uh. Since you're holding, All right? Yeah. I'll draw my own sword. Doesn't yeah. matter, guys. I mean, you can. You can absolutely draw your own sword. I highly, um, uh, I'm never going to say no to more art on the battlefield. <laughs> All right. Uh, yes. You can, so I'm allowed to draw, but no more art. Okay, I'll make sure it's not art. No, I, I, wa I want <laughs> art. I want art. <laughs> he doesn't want tags. <laughs> no more tags. What? A I don't mind tags. <laughs> Is that sounding sarcastic? Anyway, um, okay. So, uh, uh, Joe, you can move up to uh, six squares a turn. Uh, you you are easily within that, uh, and I'm going to say Done. that while you can't see the ghost, the sword seems to be guiding your hand. Uh, My not, hand, father. Like like not even not even such a way where you feel the force. The sword is literally well, attracted to an area of the room. Maybe I should make a roll. So let me Absolutely. roll and see if I can guess. Um, make me a spot roll and add not plus. Four. So actually, no. do you want to do you want to uh, make me an intelligence no, no, roll no. to see if you can guess? No, no, no. I've got to find my character sheet. Oh, oh, then good. I can. <laughs> All right, a uh, spot roll, intelligence roll, intelligence roll, or a spot roll, both. All right, spot Here roll to see if you can better. spot. Uh, yep. So Here's my spot roll with the intel. Uh, yes. Okay. So Two. with an intelligence Two. roll of uh, fifteen. Yep. Uh, and just... a spot roll of twenty-one. Yep. <laughs> uh, what happens? Do I feel vibrations. Uh, yeah, you can sort of feel feel that the sword wants to fight something, so you're led over to where the ghost is, and with a spot roll of twenty one, you go, mm -hmm. you start, you have um, as a droid, you have a bunch of different sensors, uh, okay. like sensors, and you, as going through each of them one by one, you kind of notice that there's a heat signature coming from this area, coming from this area. You can clearly see the uh, the outline of a man in robes, giving off heat. Yeah, uh, just it's it's more like it's colder than the rest of the room. It's, it's like a black spot. Yeah, it's a cold shadow attack. <laughs> All right, roll me melee. a roll me a melee attack. Yep, 
Vibro blade, no? Yeah, roll the vibro blade, but this sword does extra damage, so I'll just uh, calculate the. Uh, Here we go. The... All right. Uh, roll. Uh, Twelve. <laughs> That makes sense. Uh, yep. Usually you wouldn't be able to hit him since uh, he thought he was invisible. But now that you know where he is, a 12 is uh, actually enough. Uh, and advantage on that. Yeah. Mm, uh, no. Uh, uh, the damage is already done. Uh, no, uh, actually, I'll, get, actually, I'll actually get you to roll me 4d8 damage. Uh, and I... Yeah, ignore that. All good? Ignore that. These are not the droids you're looking for. All right, so a 4d8. You want me to roll 4d8? Yeah. Yep. Okay, hang on. Roll for D8 type 15. Take that, cold man! <laughs> uh, yes. You uh, lower degrees area? <clears throat> uh, with 15, he yeah. appears, uh, the, there appears to be, uh, uh, you slash through him, and even though it feels like the sword goes through nothing, uh, he, you, you, you. Cold blood? You see, uh, areas of the outline sort of get cleft in two. Sorry. Uh, areas of the outline are sort of getting cleft in two, and you see literally cold blood. All right. BLT. Okay. I'm going to yell out, I got you, bitch. <laughs> BLT, it's your action. He currently is under no command. I'm going to look just for the sake of everyone getting a we'll turn. More art. You, uh, BLT, can, you can command BLT to do very simple things. Uh, uh BLT will look towards Silver for command. The <laughs> uh, BLT uh, delays his action if, until right. uh, getting a command. BLT <laughs> brings the sandwich over to Silver. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Silver, your action. Um, I'm actually going to... Can I say mayonnaise? <laughs> no, sorry. Thank you. Uh, I'm dropping the uh, force push, the lift sort of thing, so that it, yep. it's going to fall. Yep. Um, throw my lightsaber. All right. Uh, take away the uh, vitality. You need to spend that. Just as a reminder yep. to our audience, uh, uh, Jedi spend HP to cast their force abilities. Yeah. It just Great goes stuff. to show what a pain they are. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. It's a... Eight, isn't it? Or yes, uh, yeah. it's four or eight. I can't remember which. Oh, right. Take four for now, and we'll four. look it up later. Yeah. <laughs> um. Right. Now to throw it. It is. It's a direct hit. It's just damage, isn't it? Yes. Uh. Oh God. It's been such a long time since I've done it. So right, throw throw lightsaber. Two d six. Yep. Just roll two d six, and it's a guaranteed hit. Uh, unfortunately, that, that's only five damage. But your lightsaber mm -hmm. does uh, a slash through the uh, slash through the uh, statue quite statue, easily yeah. while it's stumbling mm -hmm. over. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and uh, just as you finish, the lightsaber comes back into your hand, uh, gripping it right uh, tightly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, after Lovely. after you. Uh, also, yep. uh, I'm just. Oh. Uh, now, since I haven't moved, can I use my move mo action to tell BLT to do something? Yes, you can always use a free action to tell people to do something. Right. I'm uh, staying the... where I am, and I'm telling BLT to find Gemma and QT. Ah, command <laughs> has been issued! All right, BLT, uh, your turn. BLT will go find QT and Gemma, who he knows is in this general area. Yep. All right, uh, can BLT roll me a spot check and a strength check? Also, roll making sandwich. Try. <laughs> he also gets plus two on the spot check. Oh, uh, and a plus twenty. 20 I'm making seven. <laughs> and just strength. Yep, just strength. Uh nine. Uh so actually, no, it wouldn't be just strength. Sorry, let me just quickly look at BLT's character sheet. I'll bring it up on stream as well. This uh, is my stats. Yep. Look at my robot. <laughs> This is your stats. Uh, no, it looks like it will just be uh, just strength. So you're easily able to find them, and BLT starts ru um, like uh, rushing through the ru uh, rubble to try to get to uh, Cutie Bot and Gemma. Uh, with a strength of check of nine, it's going to take you until next turn to get to them. Uh, but you're okay. easily able to find them and identify uh, identify them. All right, next it is the statue's turn. 
The statue yeah. falls forward into silver, uh, slowly <laughs> but surely, uh, taking the full, its full six-second turn to do so. Uh, it is now almost directly above silver, about to fall onto silver. Oh, don't I get a uh, a dex check to move out of the way? No. Uh, at, the beginning, <laughs> at, the, at the beginning of your next turn, you'll get to do whatever you need to do. Right. <laughs> All right. Uh, yes. Uh, coming coming in next, the for the force ghost. Uh, the force ghost looks around, wounded, and sinks back into the other statue. Yeah, that's what I thought. No. Crap. No good boy. <laughs> I'm just trying to move the uh the. Angry eyebrows. Uh, don't worry, I'll just make them yeah, bigger. I couldn't move them either. <laughs> oh, no, no. I think that was actually a frown. I can't, I have no access to the, oh wait, I can move that one. Yep, yeah, alright, we're good. <laughs> alright, uh, coming back to the beginning of, an, uh, sorry, and then finally, Cutie Bot and uh, Gemma need to roll uh, to not die. Yeah, didn't we already do that? Yes, uh, I'm just going to make sure, I'm just going to do it once again on stream. Ghost fortitude? Ghost fortitude save. Make well. a fortitude save. And, uh... Alright! Uh, Cutie Bot... Roll uh, I'll, I'll roll her. Cutie Bot is stabilised and uh, no longer taking any more circuitry damage. Uh, Cutie Bot <laughs> just needs to be... A uh, Cutie Bot will be functional again as long as you bring Cutie Bot above uh, a certain amount of hit points. Right. Don't know uh, how to do that. Uh, yes, yeah, so it'll be a repair roll from someone. Ah. All right, and Gemma also rolls. Uh, Gemma, who's not here today, also rolls a fortitude save, oh. and gets ten, uh, taking uh, taking one wound damage. No, actually, sorry, no, it's one to nine. Yeah, barely passing. Uh, barely, uh, Gemma is stabilized, barely passing their fortitude save. <laughs> All right, coming back to the beginning. Uh, coming back to the beginning of initiative. Um. Mm -hmm. Uh, actually, no, sorry, uh, just some NP things, NPC things go off. Um, you see, uh, you see, uh, Yes I Am and Squeak, uh, sort of coming up, uh, from the back. Sort of coming back to get closer to their, uh, master. Yeah, Squeak's actually having a lot of trouble with their tiny wheels over a lot of the, the uh, damaged ground. <laughs> so, uh... I've told, I've told them to stay where they are. That's fair. Uh, you told him that, but hey, uh, okay. why? Why yes, I am is uh, coming to uh, uh, coming towards the party, carrying Squeak via a small magnet lift. Oh. Uh, they are Very not clever. doing. They are not doing what you told them to. They are just slowly <laughs> floating towards the party. Oh no! If only yeah, you reset naughty. your droids. <laughs> Wipe their memories, I, even. I, I, I do. I he, do. They're, he, they're going into the coldest of space as soon as I see them. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, you see Rat um, mm -hmm. sneaking uh, behind the thing. Uh, she's uh, she rolled uh, she rolled quite badly, so mm. she's not sneaking very well, and she seems to be trying to <laughs> investigate what happened to Gemma and Cutie Bot. Yep. Take the horn. Yeah, the horn's Why here. Why can't I move the horn? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. Right, uh, um. Yeah. Something. Something to do with permissions. Should be fine. All right. Uh. Yes. Uh. Coming back. Uh. Are you one too? You're up first. I'm not. Yes, you are. I'm not. We've yes, just come are. back to the beginning of the initiative. Where's he? Where does he think he's going? He's not going into that other robot. I hope because I'm going to stab the crap out of him. Yep. Yes. <laughs> he has. Where the hell's my vibro blade character sheet? Yes. <laughs> Libro blade, rolling dice, getting seventeen. It's very nice. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and now roll. Do I hit him? I hit him. Uh, with a seventeen, you easily hit the statue. And what? uh, no, no. Did I hit the ghost, or is he gone in no. already? The ghost. Has, the ghost has gone in. You easily hit the statue, not dealing that much damage to its hard stone exterior. In fact, well, it, it seems like eight, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It oh, seems not, it's not to the not to the statue. I, I'm just saying that the attack hit. Please roll damage. Yeah. Uh, but it seems to the sword actually seems to glide through the stone. Welcome back, tank. Uh, the sword actually seems to glide through the stone. Actually, it's forty eight. So roll me one more. Okay. Um, glide through the statue, only hurting the force ghost. Yeah. Good. <laughs> After taking that much damage, the Force Ghost uh, it doesn't seem to be defeated, but also seems to be wounded again. 
the force ghost seems to actually fall out of the statue. Have him. Uh, or gold on his face. <laughs> he's got gold. Yes. <laughs> he did with the horn. Yes, tank gave tank uh, gave us the do it. All right. Did he uh, say anything? Uh, no, he's just completely wounded. Now, uh, you uh, you've used your attack action. You still have your. I feel movement. bad. I feel really bad because he looks like Obi Wan Kenobi. He does look like Obi Wan. He's ex he looks exactly <laughs> like Obi Wan Kenobi. I can change oh. that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so, uh, you've got, still got a movement action and a minor action. Uh, so actually, you move your movement, use movement action to move up. However, uh, if you want, you can use an action surge to take another attack. I love the mustache. Yeah. Take another attack. <laughs> yep. I don't yep. hit him. I don't hit, um, a ghost when he's down. Okay, well, that's fair. Oh, shit. Uh, meanwhile, the statue I that is a friend... I stabbed them. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Do I get a free attack? Yes. Do I roll attack? Is that right? Yeah. Yep. Is it auto just, or is just, it um, normal? just, uh, just, just a normal. Blade. Yep. Roll the vibro blade again. <laughs> Critical hit. Roll the again to confirm. Is in my... Oh. Yep. Roll just roll again, again to confirm. And if the, the next attack would have hit, you hit. Crit. Uh. <laughs> sure, she crits, baby. Yep. Uh, you deal damage directly to wounds as. Roll three hundred d eight now. <laughs> yep. uh, yes. Is this a ghost? This is, no, yes. he crit on the ghost. Okay, cool, cool. I thought you were attacking the good statue. No, no, no. He attacked the statue. The, the blade seemed to not even Normally. hurt the statue. The ghost fell out of the statue, yeah. and then he attacked no, the ghost again. No, yeah. Normally, I, I, I would want to, but um, but I feel like my hand is forced. So I critted the fucker, and now <laughs> I'm getting 4d8 on him. Ready? So, yeah. Boom. 13 points of damage, multiplied by 3,000. Is yep. he dead? Uh, actually, he the the cold area seems to whisk away, and you have no idea what happened to him. However, Silva, who's nearby, can see that uh, now Sorry, that... Silver. Now that I'm the... I'm taking care of things. <laughs> we don't need to put on a heater in this area. Thank you. All taken care of. Now right. that the ghost is defeated, they seem to be changing. Uh, parts, uh, they appear to be, uh, they appear before your eyes, and, uh, you hear a voice that you remember from last session. <laughs> the one that told you to take care of the guardian spirit. Yep. Now appears to be coming from the force ghost. Okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh as you, uh, uh, as they, you keep attacking, the statues yeah. appear to... The statues appear to become uh, uh, appear to deactivate. Right. Yeah. Just fall forward then, huh? Yep. Just fall <laughs> forward. Uh, right. In initiative <laughs> is now over. The battle is won. Oh, okay. Won. I can't do a a sidestep. No, you, that's what. Uh, now that initiative <laughs> is over, you can do a sidestep as many times as you want. Right. <laughs> Out of the way of that. Um. Uh, All right. Uh, taking care of everything. Uh, the ghost says, "Thank you. I was corrupted beyond my means, uh, and ah. forced to be this guardian of this cave." By who? Who corrupted you? I do not do not understand that well. Zara the mag. This it was uh, some aspect of the force. Right. Thank you. Uh, uh, can you? Uh, the robots. Will they continue to attack? Uh, they appear to be completely deactivated, crumpling and, and falling. Right. And the ones that are down the stairs? <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, they, however, appear to as if they have lost... Uh, you, you hear these sort of scraping and crunching sounds sort of all mm -hmm. come to a stop. Right. Cool. Um, I'm glad that uh, the corruption has been taken from you. I hope that it does not happen again. <laughs> it won't. I have broken one of the cardinal rules, and he just sort of seems to be seeping into the floor. Yep, he's fading away, becoming one with the Force. Uh, could you give me a Jedi knowledge roll? Yep. Do -do. Jedi law? Yep. All right, right. Uh, with a 20, uh, mm -hmm. you know that, uh, you remember from your teachings, uh, that 
the difference between a force uh, a, a force ghost and a Sith ghost. Uh, 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 yeah, a Jedi can only become uh, a force spirit because of their understanding of the force. Mm -hmm. uh, they know that the force is its own uh, is the force is its own element and it cannot be changed. A force ghost uh, accepts that the timeline has to happen the way it does, and if they make yep. any asp any uh, effort to change it whatsoever, they fade away. Whereas a right. Sith ghost is driven by its desire to change, change. Mm -hmm. the uh, the uh, pre like the uh, the, the des destiny and the force. Mm -hmm. So now that this uh, force ghost has uh, even uh, not through his own, even though this force ghost never meant to, to try to change and was corrupted. Yep. It, it has now has to go back to being one with the force. Mm -hmm. It sinks uh, into the floor. Well. It sinks into the floor, mm -hmm. but uh, in its place, you find a small crystal on the ground <laughs> uh, that is grey and slightly uh, looks slightly burnt out. Oh, uh, um, back. I will... oh, sorry. Yep. yep, I'll go and pick up the crystal. It's I... probably from you. Yep. Are you one too? Yep. You've slayed a ghost, as far as you can tell, or a cold spot, <laughs> or something. And, I, um... Uh, yep. Um. And what's more, this sword feels awesome. Way better than Vibroblades. <laughs> well, is everything over? I go and yeah, check everything. out the rest of the party's gone. How are, you, how are these guys going? Uh, uh, eventually, BLT and RU12 are able to go through the rubble. Uh, just as they break through the rubble, they see a, the uh, sections of ancient stone droids. Give all, the sword to Silver. All standing up. Yeah, uh, yeah, I believe that's yours. <laughs> I take the sword. Do I still uh, feel the... Let me roll yep. move rock. Yep, uh, give roll me a... Uh, BLT and RU12, give me another strength roll. Oh, strength. Yep, actually, no, you know what? There's no way you guys are going to fail. Uh, just take 10, uh, and oh, you're uh, successfully, be, uh, successfully able to move the rock. No! Never. I roll. Only chance. Then please roll, then please roll. I took 10 by accident. <laughs> <laughs> Look at us go. Mm -hmm. We're moving rubble like no tomorrow. Absolutely, you're able to successfully move uh, move the rubble. Uh, Cutie Bot is uh, looking worse. Uh, the first you find Cutie Bot looking worse for wear. Uh, uh, several internal components appear to be more external than they used to be. That's bad. Oh. Um, well, I, I, I want to check how Laura's character is going. Yep. Uh, <laughs> Gemma is uh, Gemma. after after getting through Cutie Bot, uh, getting uh, getting past Cutie Bot and uh, clearing out more rubble. You find that Gemma is lying on the ground. She has several deep wounds, including one on her face, uh, and is completely missing an arm. She has second degree burns across that entire left side as well. Should I put her out of her misery? No. <laughs> uh, be, uh, it, it's a good thing we've got these head. Um, the we're able to hear each other. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you give me a treat injury roll, are uh, you want to, to see if you should put her out of her misery. No, 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 no. I don't deal with that. I'm not touching any of that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I'll call someone else who's good at it to come over and do all that stuff. Uh, yes, so uh, uh, as, as everything's sort of happening, uh, YSIM and Squeak can move further up. Uh, mm -hmm. They're just kind of trying to find you. Uh, and Rat also sort of starts moving through the rubble and sits Thought down. I told you to stay there. <laughs> you uh, YSIM just uh, YSIM turns to look at Are You One Two and goes beep boop beep boop beep. Uh, which, as you speak, droid binary knows. Uh, How much did. is it to hit? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you can just you can just roll it. Uh, as you know from binary, it meant we did we did stay there. You didn't you know. stay there. Your point. Uh, <laughs> we we fi we finished your command. All right. Uh, do you do you want to actually want to shoot all you want to? Feel free. Nah, I'm not gonna um, do it. Really. I just really felt like doing it. <laughs> I had the game, uh, the gun in my hand, and I just imagined the shot. Oh, look, if, look. If, you, if you could hear my imagination, it's like pew pew pew. <laughs> <laughs> And then, really, that's not happening. I'm just staring angrily at it, and then I just <laughs> put the gun down slowly and and look over at BLT and say, "Hey, you good at making sandwiches?" And <laughs> ignore it now. Stupid thoughts. Uh. Um. Okay. 
Uh, I'll go over to Gemma. Yep. Uh, treat injury. Yep. I'll give it a roll. Yep. Uh, see what it... You've also got some med packs as well that you had from yep. before. So using the med packs and the treat injury, mm -hmm. uh, with a roll of 14 and the plus two from the med pack, you're yep. able to successfully restore 1d2 uh, wounds <laughs> to Jammer. However, once you do heal, uh, yeah, so uh, roll me a d2 and then add plus one to the result. So flip a coin. Okay. <laughs> well, I'll roll a d4. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> and no, halve it. No, three and four? Where oh, does that sorry. Go? No, 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 you, you halve it. Sorry, do that again. I'm right. supposed to only roll one. <laughs> So that's a one one plus. Oh, it's one. <laughs> yeah. So it's two. It's yeah. It's two. Uh, you heal for two, but yep. uh, through stabilizing her, you're able to bring her to effectively uh, two wounds. Uh, right. So, uh, <laughs> so, yeah. But she's still unconscious. Uh, right. She's just not bleeding out anymore. Up. I'll pick her up and take her back to wherever I need to. Absolutely. Ship, maybe. Yep. Yep. Please. Uh, and uh, someone put QT in BLT. <laughs> oh, pick QT up and put it into BLT. <laughs> yep. Uh, the you you carefully take the different parts of mm. Cutie Bot and put them into BLT. Uh, yeah. The different droids apparently seeming to work on their own. Uh, exchange short binary conversations that are too quickly are too quick for you to uh, <laughs> understand. Uh. Mm -hmm. Uh. Why yes, I am uh, uh, just checking if any of them have repair. You know who does? Guilty. <laughs> Cutie bot. <laughs> That's fair. Who I am healing. Uh, he did. One of the other bots on the um, thing might be able to. Doesn't I you have repair, or did you reprogram? Uh, I might be able to help in this situation. It's ironic because I can help Gemma, and Gemma can help me. Yeah, but we're both unconscious because <laughs> someone decided to blow us both up. Are you one two does have some repair? Yep. Um, I More say. More than me. <laughs> oh, well, that's easy. Just put the green wire there. All right. Uh, with a uh, with a repair roll of fifteen, uh, and spending about five minutes on the task, you successfully put uh the different parts of Cutie Bot back together. However, very Cutie... long green wire. Yes. Uh, roll me 1d8, uh, plus one wounds. Holy shit, how long does this wire go for? Plot twist, it was part of the violin that I have inside me at all times. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have a very small one. The, the world, very small violin. The world's yeah. smallest. <laughs> I, I pull out things like, what, a watch? What? I throw it away. <laughs> I can't, I Why is there the skittles hell? in here? Skittles? Oh, there's the problem with the personality chip. There's bubblegum. <laughs> I thought yes. you were going to say the skill. <laughs> you want me to roll the D8 or Joe? Uh, either. Either. No, no, you roll it. You roll it. You roll it. All right. Uh, oh. With that three, you get to one wound. Uh, cutie bot, make me a will save. To try to wake up. Do I have the will, or do I have the way? We will define that. Uh, with a 15, you wake up. However, you're fatigued. You take... Seven. Uh, with a 17, yeah. Well, you wake up, but you are fatigued. Uh, which doesn't really make sense for droids, but uh, despite uh, RU12 doing his best, uh, you uh, not everything's connected the way it should be. Your internals are still open to the outside world. You're awake and you're definitely, uh, uh, you know, alive and conscious, but you take a negative to a lot of your dice rolls you until you get prepared properly. Yeah. You feel this something is... missing. <laughs> this is uncomfortable. The clock. Where's yeah. the violin? Hey, how do you know? How do you know? What if it's more comfortable? <laughs> I don't think when you have things dragging that like, is supposed to be inside your. It's... Say you're a human, right? I'll take out your intestines. Yeah. Even if you put them back, the human body doesn't like that. That doesn't yeah. matter. As long as I get to taste the food, I don't care how I poop it because out. Because <laughs> <my droids. laughs> uh, So basically, she's, uh, QT's like um, uh, 
C3PO was when they're on Cloud City sort of thing. Yes. Yeah. Like, oh, where's the where's the beam man? Yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh you've all you've successed. There is one other thing I can do. Yes. On uh Gemma is to try um force heal her. Um he heal uh, another. As you do, uh Rat also comes up and says, uh, you know, like uh that it gives you a nod and also mm -hmm. tries a force heal roll at the same time. Okay. Here we go. Oh, crap. <laughs> uh, with uh, uh, rat uh, rolls an assist roll to your uh, uh, heal. Uh, unfortunately, uh, giving you a plus two. Unfortunately, six is not enough. Oh no! Right. Uh, however, uh, <laughs> you do feel like your um, your forces of healing are being a bit interrupted. There's so much of the force going oh, on everywhere. Yep. Not exactly interference, but it's mm -hmm. it's hard to focus. You're also holding the sword. <laughs> oh, you got that point too. So, does the sword still feel evil? So, like sword, draining. The sword definitely does. Right. That's Wait. probably where the um. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, BLT, put this back on the table uh, where it was found, please. <laughs> yeah. The old pack. Wow. Putting it away. Uh, unrelated, Brita, you're cutting out a little bit. So I just put it away. It's okay. It <laughs> yeah. works because I am malfunctioning. Exactly. It's <laughs> However, I do apologize for the sound quality. <laughs> no, the sound quality is okay. fine. It's just not like. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. So BLT goes to put it on the table. Uh, goes to put it back on the table. I can't delete the stuff. Wait. Yes, I can. Right. <laughs> Uh, as you put it back on the table, uh, the force sense, uh, uh, the unconscious Gemma seems to go from a sort of frown to a sort of smile. <laughs> like, She's uh, waking up. like some pain has been relieved. At least. <laughs> I can't pick it up! <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, so, yeah, uh, so another thing that you sort of find when, uh, healing Gemma mm. is she had the lockbox. It's now uh, open, and there are three crystals in front in front of you. Right. Uh, they sort uh, of call, uh, each of one of them sort of a different mm -hmm. combination of like white or light blue. Right. So. What about the floor crystal from Ghost Boy? That's also grey. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there's a grey sort of burnt crystal from the floor. There yep. is a sort of white crystal that looks like it sort of has some sort of, uh, like you know how when quartz isn't mm -hmm. fully clear you've sort of got like, yeah, yeah. impurities and that makes it look quite white you've mm -hmm. got another one that's slightly blue and yep. another one that's quite clear to the touch they're all different shapes as well yeah uh one shape um the the one that's clear to the touch just sort of shaped like a diamond uh the uh white one is kind of a long sort of like c a cylinder with uh, uh with hard angles mm -hmm. uh yep. and the other one is Kind of, uh, the other one is kind of like an L shape. <laughs> an L shape. Hmm. Yeah, very small. Like you know, just sort of like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Actually, I'm going for the clear one. I'm going to pick that up. All right. Uh. Actually, uh, just as you do, I'll get you to give me a final uh fasting roll. Right. Ah. As yes. you just you use. <laughs> Let's see, fasting, 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 force. Ah. See force. No, sit. Where is it again? Fasting. That's it. F. Oh, it's in alphabetical order too. Ah, with your fasting roll, you find that mm -hmm. the crystal that you picked, yep, is particularly calling to you. Right. Uh, <laughs> as you pick it up, it almost seems to change. Uh, yeah. The uh, it seems to realign itself on some level to what uh, it seems to realign itself on some level to. Mm -hmm uh what to be more in line with what you are and your right. connection to the four. Uh, uh you okay. uh give me a uh, give me uh, I know I keep asking for it, but give, give yeah, me yeah. a another uh, Jedi knowledge roll. Mm-hmm. With twenty two, you've heard yep. sometimes that uh a per personal crystal when it calls uh mm -hmm. develops uh, especially when you go through a particularly 
difficult time to get to it, can form a bond. <laughs> can form a yep. bond uh, to you. Uh, it seems like this crystal uh, is yours. Uh, if right. this, if, oh. for example, if this crystal was to in, appear in an inventory sheet, it would read Silvar's personal crystal. Right. <laughs> it will grow and change with you as you grow and mm -hmm. change. Right. Yep. Thank you. Uh, yes, I'll pick up definitely that one. Have to sort of feel it. Yes, feel it flowing through me. Feel myself flowing through it. This is the one. Yeah. Um, still going to pick up that grey crystal and as well because um, I think I know another Jedi who'd be interested in it. Yeah. <laughs> um, but this is only part of my um, thing. I now need to finish and create my um, actual lightsaber. Yeah. <laughs> uh, which I think, is that going to happen up here or? Yes. You've got the different yeah. parts that you've been working on. Yeah. Uh, and you can go there and uh, complete your crystal. Complete your uh, crystal. Uh, um, I would suggest everybody else to head back to the ship and please look after Gemma and get QT up and working. Um, I'll just, I need to meditate here and finish my um, trial. <laughs> yeah. All right, we'll take the bike then. Uh, see you back in about like a day and a half. <laughs> All right. Uh, as you as you finally sort of go, uh, I want everyone to give me a who has it and is currently awake a repair roll. <laughs> oh, can I repair myself? What's what's my badness? Uh, you can repair yourself. However, you get negatives on it currently. What's the negatives? Uh, you get a negative oh, uh four to eight depending on the skill. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> All right, uh, are you on two and cutie bot? Uh, so that was uh, are you on two's role uh, for repair that was unrelated to cutie bot? Uh, you see that uh, all of the two statues. I'm awake. Yeah, you're awake. Yeah. Of of the two statues, you see that this one on the left oh. appears to have some small form of functionality left. What? Do we get a oh, the, the the statue up mm. here. The one that was uh, friendly to the party. The other yeah, statue seemed to get, get almost fall apart. Hey, Estrazo. Yeah. Welcome to chat. Just shoot it. Shoot it? Don't shoot it! <laughs> this was the good no, you know, one! You know what? Uh, he, you know what? Uh, before anyone can react, go, roll attack. <laughs> okay. uh, where's my character? Shane? Look, he's a highly trained bounty hunter, and he just saw a corpse twitch. <laughs> This is a very... It never died. Highly trained. Yeah. Yes, that's my excuse. For <laughs> there we go. Critical hit. Roll to confirm I have, critical. I may have missed. I may have missed. A roll, a roll, uh, you it uh, 32. You hit. <laughs> I uh, was aiming for the wall. I'm sorry I missed. Uh, <laughs> dealing maximum damage. Uh... Mm -hmm. You seem to hit it in a critical point. Uh, its body actually seems to fade away, uh, hitting its neck, and its head seems to roll towards you. <laughs> Where you think you're going? <laughs> uh, out of the out of the head, which seems Don't to crumble. Yeah, uh, please, yes. Uh, the the head seems to. Put to the head. Yep. All right. Yeah. Uh, uh, yep. Oh, you don't even need to roll for that one. Uh, you you yep. hit the uh, the the head uh, seems to crumble apart. Kick it against the wall, and certain droid components seem to fall out of it. Hello? Wow, yes. what do we have here? Uh, Investigate robot. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Whatever that is. That's fine. Uh, I guess it's another. I, I get. Yep. Yeah. I have no idea what this is. Uh, that appears to be all junk to you. <laughs> uh, that memory card, that droid processing unit, and that. Uh, a memory card, the droid processing unit, uh, that ancient interfa uh, droid interface connection are all completely useless to you. Yep, they are. Absolutely. But you might know someone who could be used to <laughs> No, no, no. That's, I, roll, that's... I rolled a four, so mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Just right. sweep it up and uh, take it back for um, QT to look at. To me, they look like uh, used cotton tips, so what do I yeah. give a shit? 
Oh, no, no, you are, you successfully identify all three of them. You just think they're useless. Oh, You know what they are, then? They're junk, and Gemma should use them. them. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, Silver... Wait a, wait a minute. On this memory chip, it says here, Meta Industries. I might keep this. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, between the party, you uh, take the, uh, the you take the small connections, the, um, the uh, ancient droid interface, the memory... And the CPU. CPU. Uh, yes. Central Droid Processing Unit, sorry. CDU. Mm -hmm. Are any of these <laughs> helpful for repairing myself currently? Uh, give You'll it, find give out it when a, you get back. Give it a roll. Uh, what? Yeah. Uh, what am uh, I rolling? <laughs> uh, craft Droid. Oh. Uh, uh, or Repair. Both craft work. Bad joke. Craft Droid. Mm. <laughs> Yep. Uh, a minus, whatever you need a minus. Not currently useful for, for repairing you, unless you wanted to change your personality. Ah, personality <laughs> changing, you say? Yes. Looks towards I, you want to. All right. I don't, I don't have, have no sword. I have no sword. Uh, as 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 uh yes. Yeah, so uh, Silva uh takes the time to repair her. Did I change? Did I change your personality? No. Did I, no. Did I actually pull out that bubble gum? No. no. Violin or whatever it was. <laughs> Alright, uh, yeah, so uh, Silva starts getting to work, taking the different pieces of lightsaber that she's been crafting so far. Uh, Rat takes the time and stays with you, watching the process, trying to mm -hmm. learn as much as she can, as the rest of the party slowly makes their way towards the ship. Uh, okay. Could I get the party members that are up, that are currently moving back towards the ship, to give me a stealth roll? Oh, so not a self roll, a move silently roll. <laughs> I assume silently. I'm in BLT, so yeah. I'll just roll his. Yeah, just Why roll his. Why am I moving silently? Uh, just for the sake of that giant ass bat that we didn't kill. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right, uh, cutie bot. Uh, uh, as you guys sort of move out and get further away, uh, you uh, BLT sort of slips and falls. Uh, and then you hear screeching coming from down in the cavern. Oh, uh, cool. uh, yeah, so, uh, Silva and Rat, can I get you guys, uh, so I'll get you guys to give me a listen check. I'll roll hey. for Rat. Right, yep. Listen, listen, listen. Oh, top bit. Hasn't been a day, has it? it has not been a day. <laughs> cool. I don't remember what Frightful Presence does. <laughs> Uh, fri yeah, uh, Frightful Presence means that they have a negative against you whenever they roll anything. Nice. Uh, as long as they're in your presence. Alright, uh, yep. Uh, you guys don't peer anything at all. Yep. And as you sort of move through <laughs> going through... I'm too through... <laughs> engaged in what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, as you guys, as the droids sort of, uh, make their way back to the ship, uh, once again the bat sort of turns up again. Sort of, uh, kind of like a Smeagol from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> just, just far enough away, <clears throat> occasionally watching you guys as you leave. Afraid to get any closer. <laughs> I may be in pain. Technically speaking. That's yep. all. <laughs> now, um, I'll just quickly, uh, get you guys through some maps. I just want to check if you're a member how to get back home. Uh, no. Uh, cause uh, uh, well, let's... ah, left. Uh, so they, yeah, you're not with them. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> hey, do you know the way back? Uh, Are you talking you to me, have... Miss Mrs. O it's warm. Where? How do we get out? <laughs> uh, right, middle, right, right. So the opposite of that? No, no. That's what, how you go. <laughs> So that was how you, not how we got in. So how we went in was like lefts and stuff then. Yes. Okay. <laughs> right. It's a good mm. thing with the earpieces, you know. So like, um, I might have been totally into what I was doing, but then I get this voice asking this question. I have to answer. <laughs> yes. Uh, also, bad guy is still here, so be careful when coming out. Do you, right. do you, like, do you like raspberry silver? Uh... Yeah, uh, I don't sorry, know. Sorry, I, sorry to break I haven't tried. So, 
I have one with the force. The force is one with me. Right. <laughs> all right. Uh, as you sort of move through, you come back to the uh, you come back to the cavern uh, with all the uh, light lit up crystals. Yes. <laughs> uh, you notice there's many different ways. There's also further into the cave uh, from uh, where uh, Silvar is too. Uh, but you you'll you'll sort of remember exactly sort of uh, where you're going up until this point. Are you one two BLT? Do you remember where you came out. from? Yes. I had asked deliberately because I was like, "There's so many places," and then yes. I noticed these statues. Yep. All uh, right. I remember exactly. Down here, we go down here. Yes, you're genius. Finally, uh, where <laughs> is where to get back from this final map? Uh, everything's dark, so BL, remember, it's just kind of, like, down. <laughs> and then not off this cliff. Yep. As you sort of make your way. Uh, or, uh, as you sort of make your way down. You come to two different areas that both look down. A path to the left, over here. And a path to the, uh, right, here. Uh, why would we go right? We came from <laughs> this weird-ass hallway. <laughs> <laughs> and you go down that weird. You go down that weird ass hallway. Continue, BL. <laughs> Eventually, the uh, carrying uh, the wounded come to the e uh, you come to the exit of the cave. Ever something's not. Hey, who knows? Uh, Joe. Uh, so, uh, uh, can I get you to roll me a spot check? Mm, let me think about it for a while. I'm just moving back people to the Sith Temple. Up to look at. Boom. <laughs> yes. Boom. I'll buy a vow for spot eighteen. All right. As you sort of make your way back to the cave, uh, so as you sort of make your way back to the entrance of the cave, notice mm -hmm. that things aren't exactly as the way they were when you left. Your footprints are gone. I notice footprints missing. Yes. You uh so 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 just sort of maybe uh twenty Have they been thirty replaced meters back by something. Is it fresh dirt? Maybe they've been deliberately rubbed out. Yeah, it does appear to be that's the sort of way. Like there was more footprints made, and someone's just gotten rid of all. Of them. Oh, uh, wow. that sounds like wow. a trap. I hope so. All right. Not uh, that I know doing? this. Uh, do you just keep going towards the entrance? Oh, yep. yeah. Uh, wow. As you sort of get closer, a bit wary of what eventually go on, find yourself once again at the uh, at looking at the entrance uh, to the cave. Uh, I want you to give me an uh, an uh, with uh, the beautiful green, uh, the beautiful green and yellow grasses of Dantooine spreading as far as you can see. There was also wow. a small in the distance. There was a small uh, sky rack. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, there was a small Skyrack population, but they appear to be all missing from the nest. Uh, I don't know what they are. Yeah, well, those, that, those are smaller the versions animals? of the big bat. Is that uh, scooting uh, you? Uh, 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 right. So, yeah. Yep, all good. Uh, yeah, so give me, give me another spot check, and also BLT too. Me? So yeah, uh, yes. Mm. This is... Ah, look! A piece of dirt. All right. Both don't know. Are you both? Uh... I roll for different people. Depends what you want to take. QT is top. BL is bottom. BL notices uh, using his advanced droid senses in the distance uh, a sort of red laser light. What the fuck? What's up, BL? Why did you suddenly stop as if you're afraid of something? Oh my god. Is there a party over there that we weren't invited to? In the, uh, yes, um, now that ru 12 has been uh, sort of alerted to it, see, so no, you haven't actually. Uh, sorry, what does BLT say? Uh, I am not in charge of BLT. He probably just... Okay, you know, I, you know what, I am, yeah. BLT, <laughs> uh, BLT says off in the distance, uh, just kind of, uh, goes, uh, danger, and kneels down and goes to put his arm on ru one t get him to go down. Also get him to kneel down. He's danger. Do you know what the danger is, BL? Uh... Kneel with BL, man! No, I do not know what the danger is. Uh, oh, can you point out where the general direction of the danger was? There. 
Can I have another look with guidance of there? Absolutely. <clears throat> ah, search or spot. Spot? Yeah. Uh, oh, search it. No, it, it would be search. Hmm. Search? So, okay, so, Spot is like, you know, <laughs> seeing something like immediately off in the distance. All right. <sighs> I can't <laughs> see anything, BL. Um, but then again, I am very buggy at the moment. <laughs> I'm currently more worried about parties that we weren't invited to, because I have massive FOMO for some reason. Alright, uh, so after sort of stopping for a while, uh, is there anything you want to do particularly, are you on to? Yes, I want to do another search for around the right. area. Do a search? Why don't you look through your telescopey thing on your rifle gun? Uh, look, I'm just going to assume that he does. To be well, honest, I, maybe. I don't know, but I could. Yeah. Uh, is that a spot? Yeah, oh, that, that'll, that'll be a search. Oh, since, search, search, search. Yeah, search. since you're now Thank taking you. a bit more time. In the distance, you, in the distance, you see a sort of red light coming from behind a couple of rocks. Uh, but uh, oh, that, that's all man. you sort of see. Like a laser. Hey, I pointed it out. In fact, I used my laser on my sniper gun to point at the yep. laser and say, there, over there. All right. See behind those rocks. Uh, you after sort of seeing the uh, after the laser uh, uh, after you point the laser at the rocks. Uh, the the uh, uh sorry, I just see the laser on the rocks. Uh, PewDiePie and our uh, BLT are able to see in the distance that there is in fact a, a little light. As soon as you shot uh, shortly after you shoot the light, uh, shoot the light onto the source of the light, the yeah. laser in the distance stops. Uh, you see a, uh, you see mm -hmm. in the distance a man. Can't really make out much things, but he's wearing a long black coat and a black leather hat, which is circular. I've got a Mersan Model G8 sniper right at your head. Don't move. He can't hear you. I'm a crack shot. Uh, I'm just assuming are you one who's yelling? That's what I'm yelling at him. All yeah. right, uh, you're bloody loud then. Yes. Uh, wait. How far he, away? Um, maybe he's, like a hundred really meters. Close. He's really close. I'll whisper. He's he's, oh. like, he's like a hundred meters, so that's still yelling distance. <laughs> okay. You can modulate your voice to yeah. charge it oh. further. Always <laughs> one step ahead of me. Are you one two? Oh, you know him. Oh, friends. All right. Uh, turn around and turn around and show yourself, or I will. Uh, he, a blaster in your skull. He, he comes out fully from behind the rock. His, his arms are up, but he's still holding a what looks like an enormous and matching Ursa sniper rifle. Yours. Twinsies! Oh, it's, it's my long-lost murdering you, son of a bitch! You remember <laughs> that... Uh, no, who as, is it? Uh, you, you remember that back when you were working with the Huts. Uh, there was a couple of other bounty hunters that were sort of being taught at the same time. As a droid, you were programmed, but, you know, you can't program intuition and things. These things need to come naturally. This was someone else from uh, your past. His name is Ja Rule, and he is a, um, a Rodian. If you, had, if you had a friend... Ja, ja Rule or Ja Rule? Ja Rule. Ja <laughs> so, so Ja Rule. Ja Rule. So ja Rule. Uh, and a Rodian is that... that... First Green. alien that Hans shot. Yes. yes. Yeah. That is exactly that one. Mm. Uh, so, uh, yeah. uh, so if you had a friend on Nashida, or at least friends on Nashida, Jarol would be one of them. However, no one had the chance to get uh, that close. But bounty hunters, we really don't have friends. Exactly. So exactly. The closest it's... thing to, right? Exactly. Uh, so, oh. so, how much am I worth, Jarol? You've you've been busy. They want. Oh, I uh, want to know how much my bounty is. Uh, so he's, yeah, he goes on to say, "You've been busy. It's uh, fifteen thousand credits and climbing." God, what? is that all? <laughs> That's an insult. You'd never work for anything less than thirty. Uh, you're right, but uh, you must be desperate. I was uh, I was uh, operating on mates' rates. I always have a discount to hunt my mates. 
Right. Of course. Now, I... What do, you, what do you want, and what are you doing here? I came to collect your bounty, but honestly... Well, that's not going to happen. I don't want to. I... Look, uh, I've got something bigger. Maybe that we could both sort of share. Well, I'm currently busy with some friends right now. That's that's fine. That's fine. That's a term you may not have heard of before, Jerul. You're right. Friend. You're absolutely right. It's hard to have friends in our business. Now, I'm going to put away my weapon, and I'm going to walk closer. I'd prefer it if you don't shoot me in the head. Well, we all have preferences. <laughs> right where you are. I think you guys should give him a hug. Oh, you know, I... He just said, don't shoot him in the head. Uh, yeah, but that's not... Shoot... Why are you, why are you on the way, Frank? Go make your lightsaber up! <laughs> <laughs> I take, the, I take friend, it I take it out. Mean, like, when I mean friends, I mean a close approximation too. You can walk closer. <laughs> All right. He, uh, he makes a big deal out of... Rifle, rifle away. Putting his sniper rifle away. And also, yeah. he seems to reach into the, um, the, uh, to the sleeves of his uh, jacket. And uh -huh. take out several small, uh, uh, ranging from small to large blaster or pistols, and puts them on the ground. He also then opens up the jacket, and takes out a uh, what appears to be an enormous harness with uh, three guns on each side, and uh, starts like uh, putting uh, starts like I'm um, just showing that he has them, but he's not putting them down. He walks over like a flasher, opening up his trench coat. Uh, slowly. Right. Yep. <laughs> okay. So it's a bit of a strip tease, but that's fine. Um, <laughs> so you must need me for something, Jeru, otherwise you wouldn't be here. I mean, if you would have wanted to kill me, you would have taken the shot already. You're absolutely... Look, you're absolutely right, he says, uh, getting closer. Did want to take the shot, but I think we can make more money. Uh, okay. What's now... your proposal? Alright, he uh, sort of has a data pad, and he uh, starts... Uh, pressing some buttons and sends yep. something to you. Uh, now, where, when you first enter the planet of Dantooine, you have a sort of, uh, you have a, a, a antenna connection that lets you know if there are any bounties in the area. It didn't seem to go, it didn't go off, but right. uh, he sends something to you and a bunch of information starts sort of coming up on your internals. There is a mercenary weapons dealer that's been on Dantooine. Uh, who has been hiding and been uh, trying to make sure that he can't be found. Uh, he's uh, currently hiding in a facility uh, out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, you don't really... Uh, you're sort of getting more information, I think. His name is Lord Tarkas. Uh, and there is a currently a... Uh, there is currently a 38,000 bo uh, credit bounty on him. Uh, is there anywhere where... Um, look... Uh, what was Lewis' character? Gemma's um, uncle is? No, it's uh, currently just on this planet. Oh, he's convenient. he's just he's just been hiding out on this planet in the middle of nowhere on Dantooine. Right. Yeah. So, what's the reward for getting this guy? Thirty-eight thousand credits, but there's a catch. The Rodian has now made his way close enough to you that you can hear him not through uh, yelling. Yep. He he is a weapons dealer. And he is he's a paranoid weapons dealer, and he's been holed up in this facility. There's no way it's not going to be a fortress. Well, I think me and my friends could use some weapons on our ship. Does he deal with, um, at, like, um, ship weapons? Weapons big and small. Not sure what he yeah. has holed up in the facility, but he used to deal in everything. Uh, now, the real thing is, I... Uh, as much as I've sort of thought about it, there's no way I can take this guy on my own. If you, how about in exchange for say a share of half the credits, and yeah. the, me uh, reporting back to the huts that you're nowhere near Dantooine, we share this bounty. Well, you could say that I died, and we can make it a little bit more. I can do that. Well, I'll happily yeah. collect your bounty and say that you've died. Yeah. I need proof, however. Yeah, we'll arrange it. I'll give you my spare head. You can <laughs> shoot it. You can take that in and collect the bounty on it, and we'll go halves in what's his name? Perfect. Lord Tarkas. Oh, perfect. 
Uh, this just Let went... me just consult with my friends before I agree. Absolutely. Uh, Absolutely. If they're not in, in on it, then I'm not in on it, and it'll be the end of you. So give me one moment. I have wait patiently. Uh, I'll go talk to my friends. Wait, is everyone there? Um, everyone's no. on comms. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. Hey, guys, it's me. Are uh, you one, two? Uh-huh. Are you there? Uh, I'm right next to you, yes. <laughs> yes. Jeez, don't sneak up on me like that. Oh, yeah. see, <laughs> you were just having a romantic moment, so I was being quiet. <laughs> oh, damn, I need to put a bell on you. Um, I'm thinking maybe I take this guy on and I explain the details of Lord uh-huh. Tarkas. And he's right on this planet. And he's an uh, arms dealer. He might have weapons for the ship. Plus, it might clear my name because uh, I'll be working with uh, some douchebag here who's going to take half. And the bonus to me is that he'll report back and say that I'm dead, so I won't have the huts on my back anymore. And uh, uh, I'll be uh, free range. So, um, but uh, it's 30, are you suggesting it's that... half of 38,000 credits that we'll get. And so whatever we can scrounge on the weapons department when it comes on, when we, whatever we can get out of this Lord Tarkas. So I'm are you ask him if you want suggesting to... that we present ourselves to Lord Tarkas as people who want to buy weapons and well, then take him down? That, that's a great idea. <laughs> yeah, but I just really wanted to know if we want to do this mission or do you think we should just head off and check out Gemma's uncle or... Do you want to get this done whilst we're here? Like, it's kind of convenient. Well, yes, it, it is. And I'm sure, I suppose, the Republic uh, would be happy to have another weapons dealer, uh, unscrupulous weapons dealer uh, mm. off the, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, off list. Yeah. the list. Yes. Yeah. Uh, um, what say you? Uh, now we give hands and butts before <laughs> you decide. First of all, what's this guy going to do if we say no? Is he just going to kill us? <laughs> nah, he wouldn't kill us. I look at him suspiciously and turn back. Really? No, nah, really, seriously, he wouldn't. I look at him and ask, are you going to kill us if we don't take this mission? I mean, uh, I have a bounty to collect. I don't See? mind <laughs> at the end of the day which one we collect. See, he's basically just saying, oh, this guy will, will kill you all. I say... We go and we, he gives us the, the location. Is he coming with us? Are we having a like, plus one oh. party? Oh, it's really up to you, actually. Um, we'll have to go halves with this guy if we go and take out this uh, weapons deal, arms dealer. <laughs> I tell him to meet us in the middle of town tomorrow or something, you know, at the tool guy's place. Hey, cutie and... bot, what's half of 38,000? Ah, oh, numbers. I'm not programmed currently. My insides are outside my body. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> 16 or so. <laughs> no, well, my point be more is, than that. <laughs> because we're in this state, we should go back to the ship, talk about best. it more, yeah. and arrange a meeting with him. It's not like we can run away. We're the party duck. How's 17,000 sound, though? Pretty good, or? Not really. Not there are five of us. <laughs> we have a mm. child to... To That's true. Thing. Don't, worry. Don't worry, all you want to can fix <laughs> one of those problems. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry, old friend, we may have to decline. Um, you're going to have to give me a bit longer to see if I can convince my friends to go along with this. That's, look, I, look, that's fine. Uh, how about this? How about this? We make it nice and fair. You decline. Uh, so come meet me, uh, come meet me, there's a abandoned, uh, town, uh, pretty, a uh, little, a little far away from here, you know, maybe, uh, a couple of hours via speed off. Uh, you know, it, uh, it used to rely on the Jedi Temple. I, but, you know, it's really good for showdown. Come meet me there tomorrow at noon. Okay. All right. And if you, uh, if you want to ex- accept, we accept. You decline. All right. Let's get this done. <laughs> oh, Alright, well, how about we just stay in radio contact and I give you my phone that, that, number. That, that works too. Uh, he uh, sort of... Or oh, whatever it is. He, uh, in Star Wars. Yep. He actually uh, sort of reaches into his ear, and while, while you expect that he's going to take out a uh, uh, a comm, he actually, it sort of just slides out. He's had a bunch of cybernetic augmentations, 
and mm -hmm. uh, he basically just uh, his comms is now built into his brain. He slides it out to uh, record the information about your comms. Horrifying. Yes. Done. E I'll give, you an, I'll give you an answer in one day. Sounds good. Take care, Jeru. Ah, you know how much I love those old, oh, those old hollow movies. All right. <laughs> Bye, are you one two? Bye. Hopefully, see you tomorrow. Uh, he sort of uh, wanders off, and uh, as you uh, sort of see, even though he didn't have uh, any sort of weapons, you see that he had uh, behind the rock a droid uh, with a uh... sniper rifle uh, aimed at uh, all three of you. <laughs> uh, it uh, so. I'll yes. look at him and say, "You can leave too." <laughs> uh, the droid doesn't say anything. It's uh, it appears to be a heavily modified utility droid. Imagine are you one two with a gun oh, stuck right. to it? Right. <laughs> yep. All right. Well, I guess we can know the way out because we can follow him. Yep. <laughs> uh, we're at the entrance of the cave. We just need to walk out. The only thing stopping us was that light coming from over there. Mm, yep. Okay, so, yeah, till tomorrow. All right. Uh, you, you get back into your speedo, which, thankfully, he hasn't booby-trapped. Well, I don't know that. I'm going to check. <laughs> yeah, you should check. <laughs> I'm assuming. <laughs> and you make, you make your way back to the ship. Uh, okay. Finally, um, given that you're being guided by the Force Judith, mm -hmm. um... I'll get. I'll let you take a twenty on building your lightsaber. Yep. So you roll the maximum amount, and after spending a while meditating and sort of getting into it, and uh, a bit, uh, sort of building these components together, uh, finally your new lightsaber is. You, yeah. Uh, what was the blade's color again? Teal. Yeah. So, I'm just trying to remember where I wrote that. It was teal. <laughs> teal. 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 That's, yeah, that's teal. it. Yep, <laughs> light teal. Uh, as you bring like, it forward, with all teal, the... what's that light? Light blue, isn't it? Yeah, like yeah, teal, yeah. bluey greeny. Bluey greeny, right? Cool. Yeah. You uh, ignite the lightsaber for the first time <laughs> with all the different uh, connections. Uh, uh, with all the different connections put into it, this uh, this new teal lightsaber is uh, uh, so one. You have a homemade lights. I say a personally made mm. lightsaber. Add yep. plus one attack and plus one damage to future rolls whenever using this lightsaber. Right. Uh two. Uh, yep. it is, on one side, it is a training lightsaber. Right. <laughs> and on the other side, it is a normal lightsaber. Ah, uh, um, so I can do, um, knock down and kill sort yes. of thing. Yep. Uh, also, uh, you have the multi-phase emitter, uh, put in yes. as well. So you were able to adjust the length of both light, uh, of both sides of the lightsaber at will. Uh, she going... can make toast as well then. Yep. <laughs> nice. Ranging anywhere from a short blade all the way to one that's three meters long. Although most Jedi have never really found a use for that. No. <laughs> oh, uh, I suppose if I'm cutting through three meters of dura steel or something like that, but <laughs> or if you're just standing there and somebody is um, like two meters away from you, like you can't get me, and you're just like, <laughs> <laughs> you just yeah. step into him. <laughs> uh. Also, uh, uh, yeah, while yeah. this is sort of going on, Rat takes the time to sort of touch each of the crystals and sort mm -hmm. of get an idea of what they were used for and what they were like and why they've been separated. Uh, Maybe. Uh, she doesn't exactly... Uh, she, but However, she hasn't really been able to, well, articulate what they were for. Just lots of, that's interesting, or I don't understand, or what was that? She's just kind of distracted the entire time. Mm-hmm. Uh, the re uh, you take the rest of the crystals as well, assuming. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, the, the other guys have got those, yeah. Yep. And <laughs> you sort of make your way back. Uh, now, I'll uh, get you to uh, make me a handle animal. Is that the right name? Of the, is that the right role? The, wait a minute, which one are we talking about? Me or? Yeah, oh, the silver. Yep. Uh, right. I'll get you handle... to give me a ride. Uh, yeah, give, give, give oh, me a right. handle animal role. <laughs> You handle animal mm -hmm. as you make uh, your way past the giant bat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and oh, handle animal. Sorry, yep. yes. Ooh, You've got plus on. one. You've got plus one. Plus one. Come on. Do I use a point? Yeah, I'm going to use a point. Force right. point. Right. Oh, I probably yep. didn't need to. Yep. Um, uh, give me a three d six. Plus six. 
All right. Uh, with a new handle animal roll of twenty one, uh, at some point the at some point the Skyrack sort of makes its way uh, over to you. But uh, mm -hmm. using the force and the fact that you use the force point, you can sense that it's not hostile. Sort of comes yep. to you, and you have this moment uh, with this enormous creature, uh, which uh, occupies an area of six meters by six meters. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, shit. Yeah, it's big. It's friggin' big. <laughs> I'm a monster. Uh, but the fact that it was terrified of this tiny little thing. <laughs> it's like elephants and mice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you have you have a uh, you have a moment where it sort of comes up to you and you realize that it's covered in scars and oh. wounds. Um so it sort okay. of comes up to you like and it bring its head forward uh with its jaw low as possible, try to show that it's not being combative. Mm -hmm. Uh friendship. Yeah. Uh after <laughs> after making contact after making contact mm -hmm. with you, uh it sort of uh screams uh it sort of screams and run uh okay. screams and flies away again at high speeds, uh going through uh, a, a seri uh, series of connections uh right. out of sight. The last thing you hear is just sort of leaving the cave is mm -hmm. uh higher pitched, almost tweeting sounds <laughs> coming from deep in the cave, echoing through. Right. As three or four more of them, uh, you see you hear the smaller, uh, yeah, you see the smaller sounds of three or four more Skyrax. Right. <laughs> Other than that, you're able to using the force find your way pretty easily through easily. Uh, through the cave. Uh, you yeah, also yeah. notice that since you've made your lightsaber, you've uh, feel more connection to the force. As you're mm -hmm. walking through, you feel a sense there's life all around you. Yep. Uh, thousands of more Skyrax. Uh, of more normal size <laughs> around, but also different caves like wor uh, worms and insects and all mm -hmm. sorts of potential danger from going down the wrong paths. <laughs> uh, that you the one that feels the least uh, least amount of life in it. That's the one to go through. Yep. Uh, <laughs> uh, as you as you make your uh, yeah, as you make your way through, uh, Rat on the other hand see, sort of seems distracted. Uh, too much. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so occasionally shivering or squinting or twitching. Mm -hmm. yep. Eventually, you're able to make your way uh, back to the ship. However, mm -hmm. um, you realize that the party took the 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 speeder. The speeder. Uh, but don't worry. Uh, <laughs> through your new connection to the force, you remember you have something. Uh, I could call. <laughs> uh, you, you can absolutely call and just get them to pick you up. Yeah. That works too. <laughs> Pay no attention to the fact that I was going to suggest uh, using right. night speed oh, and no. running ten times no. your own speed. Why can't, she, why can't she ride the creature as a friend and don't take <laughs> well, it? That's back? well, they might not. They don't think they like to be out in the um, the lights as well, much. By this time, it is oh. night. You could try it. Oh well, that's the thing. You know, we. I was going to do put friendship onto it. Yeah. Um. Oh, and then do try another. Um, Healing to Go heal ahead. some of its wounds. Okay, so friendship first. Yep. Uh, where are you? Now, friendship. FR. Come on. So that's 18. Yep. Uh, yeah, uh, that works. Uh, you spend and... a couple of force points. So, yep. no, a couple of vitality. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I'm uh, just checking which how many it is. Uh, for skills, friendship. You are not. Oh, there you are. Uh, let's see. Ah, so I rolled an eighteen, which makes it. Uh, it's not. It wasn't hostile. Yes. So wasn't. friendly. Yeah, it's, it's in friendly. the friendly range. Yeah. So the, the, this is sorry. I, I skipped ahead. This is uh. This is all back when you're um sort of uh. Yeah. Holding the thing and you've already heard the babies and it sort of comes back. Yep. Uh that costs two and then to do the healing on it. Let's go down. Healing. Come on this time. Heal another. Yep. Oh. No. <laughs> you try it might yeah, <laughs> I've really got to work on that. <laughs> I'm super happy for you to uh, take ten. I'm not not just take ten, but use yeah. the force point. Uh, right. Use the same bonus from the force point and add it to it. 
Okay. However, uh, yeah, so with the, with the uh, plus 12 and uh, sort of mm -hmm. taking, with the plus 6 and sort of taking 10, you're yep. able to sort of feel the wounds and you're able to sort of heal it. Uh, heal at least the, yeah. the, 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 the worst ones. Yeah, you, on you heal like specifically, uh, yeah, you heal specifically the enormous wound that, uh, yeah. so that, uh, the enormous no, mark that are you on two left. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Right. Okay, so let's see. How what, what do I need to do to talk to it, sort of thing, to make it? Well, if I try to climb up on its back, it's going to be a handle <laughs> animal roll and then a ride. Oh, that's roll. it. Yep. Come on. <laughs> well, I just push all the characters that I can't. Uh, right? Yep. All right. Uh, yes. So with a um, handle animal roll of ten, since it's friends, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's sort of all right. Yep. <laughs> oh, that's better. Nice. <laughs> ah, perfect. You're get able to sort of. You're able to. Uh, you, you and Rat are able to sort of get on to this uh, <laughs> sky. Uh, to the enormous uh, giant skyro. Uh, yes. Uh, it, it it ends up taking you uh, as it sort of flies through the caves. It ends up taking you deeper into the caves. Oh. <laughs> uh, where you see and uh, where you see an enormous uh, cavern. Okay. Uh, it on... it asks you if you like Bailey's. <laughs> <laughs> you like Bailey? Uh no building. Anyway, so yes, uh, yeah. So it uh, so, so it sort of takes you to this enormous sort of cavern. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, in the in this cavern, there is in fact a chasm. And, oh, okay. Uh, going from side to side, that seems hundreds of meters deep. Uh, you also see what appears to be some sort of Jedi artifact oh. or something. Mm -hmm. uh, there, so it's uh, this huge chasm um, about yep. 16 meters across. Uh, right. And there is what looks like glass that is broken, where there used to be a bridge. Right. <laughs> there are several rocks with different markings and sort of crystals coming out of them. And it looks mm -hmm. like they've sort of been moved or dislodged. And uh, they 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 form the sort of four corners of the bridge. Yeah. Uh, and one of the one of the rocks appears to be just almost completely destroyed. The uh, okay. meanwhile the uh, the sky rack then sort of sort of takes you down, uh, mm -hmm. to a sort of uh, takes you down to uh, an edge of the, of the cliff, so you can sort of see down. And yeah, you see in the chasm an enormous enormous nest with <laughs> uh, the different uh, enormous enormous nest with a uh, with. Like giant Skyrak babies, right? Uh, it, nice. sort of it sort of shows you. It sort of makes an uh, makes an action to look at you, babies. Mm -hmm. Then look at you, sort of nods, uh, and then uh, kind of flies back up and lets you get catch a ride again after right. uh, doing a friendly, you know, a little regurgitation, babies. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah. Babies. Oh right, I, I I could see. Yes, it was time to feed the babies. I'm sorry I that I tried to take you away from that. I'm glad that you were able to finish your job. Yeah. <laughs> um, any of the uh fragments so like stand out? Um, that's you know big enough to well small enough that I might be able to uh force pull to myself. That might uh, look um. Absolutely. Nice. These right. uh, a lot of these crystals seem to be incredibly powerful. Uh, uh, a lot of these crystals seem to be incredibly powerful force artifacts that are right. used to make this uh, bridge work. Um, you can uh, uh, give me a force. Uh, give me a force pull roll. Feel free to take ten. <laughs> uh, uh, that's uh, force. Oh god, what is it again? Force grip? No. Um, uh, move object. Sorry. Move object. That's it. Yep. I can't see it. <laughs> uh, sorry, it is a uh, fifteen. Fifteen, right? Oh, of course. Uh, yes. For a total of twenty-two. Yes. Uh, yeah, you're able to. Uh, you're able to uh, quite easily. Uh, you sorry, you're able to quite easily. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I keep I'm an R. Also, <laughs> you're able to quite easily take the crystals yep. and have them float over to you. Mm -hmm. uh, they appear to be some. This appears to be some sort of uh, puzzle. That these crystals uh, uh, used to form a piece of. However, these are uh, these are uh, uh, power crystals. Will can be continue to be useful for whatever purpose uh, use them for. Right. 
So technically, if I could put them back together on the uh, area that was blown sort of thing, then it would form the bridge again, maybe. Theoretically. Right. If there aren't enough pieces missing. In any case, <laughs> this could be an area to sort of come back later to. To, yeah. But not right now. The uh, okay. the uh, sky rack comes for, uh, the sky rack comes forward, picks you back up again, and takes you and Rat far out of the uh, far out of the cave. Uh, yep. And in fact, uh, flies. Uh, and as soon as you get out of the cave through a different entrance to the one that the rest of the party <laughs> took, uh, mm -hmm. it flies deep. Uh, it flies far into the air. Uh, right. Actually, also have actually do have this map built. Uh, for some reason, it was uh, being difficult, but now the uh, now the stream can actually see what it looks like. Oh. In fact, I'll That's bring you to it as well. <laughs> Whoa! Right. Yeah. So you can sort of see down here. This is uh, yep. This is where the nest was. Nest is. Um, that's where they're broken. Yeah. Shout, out, shout, shout, out, shout out to your friend who made these maps, man. These are awesome. I, yeah. made, I actually made this one. <laughs> uh -huh. Whoa, go Freddy! Yeah, the rest of them are made by that guy, yes. Uh, oh, she... an artist! Yeah. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, uh, the, uh, the Skyrack takes you high into the sky and then drops you back sort of on the outskirts of the, uh, outskirts of the town where the uh, sentry duck is, uh, headed. Yep. Uh, I want you to, uh, you tamed the Skyrack and mm -hmm. its babies. Please add yep. a force point. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, please gain a force point. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, eventually Yay. you and, uh, Rat make your way back to the ship. All right. Uh, uh, could we take a break now? Yes, I think that's perfect. Right. <laughs> uh, thanks, everyone. Uh, uh, we're going to be on break, and we'll be back real soon. All right. <sighs> uh, sorry. It wouldn't, uh, yep. Uh, be right back. Hello, everyone, and welcome back. All right. Uh, yep. So we're just... Uh, yep, so... The party has successfully made it back to the ship. Uh, bruised, defeat, uh, bruised, uh, sometimes uh, armless, but <laughs> we're back. Mostly armless. Mostly armless. <laughs> Ooh, party, how are those drugs doing? Good? All right. I'm going to go over here and repair my insides. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, yeah, with the, with the assistance of several droids on the ship, as well as your Mastercraft tools, uh, give me a crafting roll. Feel free to take 20. Um, if you want to, um, you'll take 20 times the amount of time, but you'll roll a perfect roll, uh, and add seven to whatever the result is. What is this for? Repairing yourself. I would rather take the gamble. All right. Go ahead. I'm going to, um, go and get my spare head and put a thermal detonator in it. <laughs> Sounds good. Um, uh, yeah, I'm also going to say that uh, timers are worth about a uh, hundred uh, credits, so you can buy uh, uh, so you can buy uh, a timer or a, uh, or, a or, you know yeah a timer to attach your thermal detonator, something like that. Because normally thermal detonators by default you press them, they explode six seconds later. Mm. Yep, that's okay. Let's get they got a remote, haven't they? Uh yeah, the it's also hundred credits for like a remote as well. Oh, uh, I'm just assuming that you've got a. Oh, one one of them, please. Yeah. Oh, I want something to go as far as possible. Exactly. Then I would set a timer and then make it look like part of your head. <laughs> I mean, both work, both work. All right, uh, with the repair check of 29, uh, Cutie Pie, you're able to make it back to full wounds, but you're not 100% sure if the repair worked fully. Hmm. Now, uh, uh, mm -hmm. more, more pressing, the, uh, the Gemma is Gemma. placed into the uh, Colto tank. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's just uh, floating there. Uh, so Gemma will be out of commission for a little while, and uh, eventually need to find something to replace uh, her arm, if she wants to. Uh, now, there are cybernetics and stuff available across the universe, so that could be something to investigate in her own time. Now, all you want to is currently setting up a remote, uh, remote, uh, remote explosive. Uh, uh, Silver meets mm -hmm. in one of the rooms... With Aaron Tide, Rat, and uh, Silver's Master. Silver's Master, Sylvanas. Master. Uh, yep. All right. I'm uh, gonna have to move my eel. You'll have to <laughs> move your eel. It follows him. <laughs> uh, I was about to say, where's Rat? 
Why are they in different yeah. rooms? I'm just bringing Oh, down there. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> All right. Oh. So I will uh, master and I will show her my new lightsaber. All right. <laughs> uh, you take uh, out, you, you take out yep. your lightsaber and ignite it. Aaron Tide and Silver uh, and Sylvanas, very uh, not uh, very proud. They see you. Uh, they see you have built a lightsaber with parts given by them, as well as your own. Uh, with parts, uh, uh, with parts given to uh, given to you by them, but also yep. one that you made yourself, and you went through a journey of yourself to get. Uh, Master yes, Aaron Tide. Um... As part of when I entered the uh, temple chamber, um, we were accosted by a force, uh, the force guardian, um, and he had been corrupted. The uh, corruption was uh, taken from him, but he left this, and I will show him the grey uh, crystal. I believe this was his crystal. Hi. Yes, it does appear to be a lightsaber crystal, but it is different. This appears ah. this appears to be uh, have had its connection to the Force, uh, revived and taken and revived and taken over and over. It's gotten some of its own special qualities. Originally, this yeah. crystal was just like any other fiber crystal or uh, like the crystal you could make a lightsaber out of. But it seems to be withered away by time. I say that it now could fit in some other lightsabers. He sort of uh, pop, he sort of takes the opportunity and pops mm -hmm. open his own lightsaber and shows that most lightsabers uh, have space for other crystals to mm -hmm. uh, have them focused or defocused or change the colors or anything. Uh, you yep. know, he asks to hold your lightsaber and mm -hmm. shows that just by copying previous designs, you have the uh, you have the spaces as well. Right. Uh, he. Sort of takes the grey crystal and pops it into your lightsaber and closes it up. As you uh, then give the lightsaber back to you, as you hold mm -hmm. it, it feels like your connection to the Force and connection to the Jedi spirit, while gone, is still there. While oh. using this, while using this uh, crystal inside mm -hmm. your lightsaber, you gain plus four wisdom. <laughs> Yay. Yep. Uh, meanwhile, right. all the other crystals you found all have similar effects, but will need to be tested. Mm -hmm. uh, to see if they uh, work or not. Uh, you also says that the uh, that the crystal that's bound to you will also get stronger as you level up, giving its own bonuses based on the choices that you make. Well, nice. Then, then <laughs> he makes a uh, then he makes a comment about how uh, back in his day, no one had personal crystals, and is about to go into a long <laughs> monologue before. Thank um, you, before he's distracted. Thank you, master. <laughs> Thank time. you, master. But shut the f up. <laughs> now I think now I think there's something that I've Silver's ma uh, your master sort of swaps places with you in the room mm -hmm. walks up she ignites she asks you to kneel and ignites her light table I trust it don't trust it <laughs> I love that there's like a red light on Joe's face as he says that Ah. <laughs> uh, Silver. I have faith. <laughs> I have believed since the day that I met you. Since the day that I started training training you. The day that you made it out on your own. I, the authority given to me by the Jedi Council, but more importantly, by my own recognition, knight you. Uh, she places her lightsaber on your shoulders, carefully not to touch your hair or, or anything else. Rise. Silver. Jedi Knight. I'll Does wait for her to uh, turn off her lightsaber. She turns, off her, she turns off her <laughs> lightsaber. Um, I, I will stand. Question. Yeah. yeah. Does the rat tail disappear now? <laughs> it doesn't you disappear. You totally should have just had her just no. cut off the rat tail to like, be like... <laughs> no, I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can have a Mulan moment. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> My bad. Just take a little detail. Now, I know that this is sudden, 
but given that you are a Jedi Knight, you are okay, uh, with uh, permission from Jedi Masters, you're able to take an apprentice. <laughs> uh, right. then... Excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> I can kill a lot of people. Rat, come forwards. I can kill Rat. Now, sure. No. <laughs> are you sure that no one came up with a better name for her? Um, like four times, brat. <laughs> All right, well, funny. Oh. Brat. Hey, is... All right, come forward. Brat me. Brat me. <laughs> brat oh. for short. Yeah. Rat car. <laughs> Worst. <laughs> All right, brat me. You will begin your training as a Jedi Knight under the watchful eyes of Silver. Of course. Uh, Rat's gonna need a lightsaber. Well, as, as it tra- happens to be, <laughs> as it, as tradition. In a cave. Uh, as as tradition, uh, Silva looks at you, mm-hmm. and it sort of goes like, uh, "I will actually hand over my old lightsaber to her." <laughs> <laughs> truth be told, in history, there's only like seventy lightsabers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you. She sort of reaches forward and grabs the enormously long lightsaber compared yeah. to her own. Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll just show her how it can actually uh, twist it and it breaks into two. <laughs> 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 and really good for making toast. Thank you. I'll do. You can heat up a water bottle in no time. <laughs> I will I'll do what I can. Uh, I want you. I, I used uh, to just, hand me down. My life used to have no meaning. I would just survive, do what I could. Now, yeah. with the help, oh. I can find my purpose. You're welcome. <laughs> now, what first, Master? <laughs> Uh, first, um... Kill R U one two. You Do could it. go train with R U one two. Uh, well, yeah. Um, Use I need to <laughs> right. speak more with uh, my ma- my master. Um, mm. I suggest you, yes, go find a R U one two and say you wish to spar. <laughs> start right, with good luck. Her. Jump in the deep end. Bye. <laughs> Four push ups. Uh, Yep. <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, Rat, um, yeah, goes off to find R. U. One, two. Silver says yes. You had que- uh, so you, you, uh, Sylvanas says yes. You had questions of me. Please go on. Um, we had a chance meeting with another bounty hunter. Um, I I did not catch his name. Unfortunately, I only um, heard it briefly. But he mentioned that he was on a one of his bounties was a lord. Tarkus, uh, a weapons dealer and manufacturer, I think. Um, I, I wish to know whether or not he has any connection to the Republic. Tarkus. Hmm. Second. Uh, <laughs> she, uh, beautiful. Uh, she brings <laughs> up a, she brings up a, a data pad and starts sort of making some connections, sort of, you know, talking about people. What Tarkus was a member of the Republic long ago, but during oh. uh, Revan's rebellion, he joined the Sith as a uh. weapons manufacturer. He is quite a bad man by any standards, uh, corrupt even when part of the Republic. But records say that he died seven years ago in a battle. Ah, well, according to this bounty hunter. He is here on um, Dantooine. Interesting. Uh, would you wish him to be brought in? Honestly, don't know enough. True. I can, I can, I can make, I can make some calls. Uh, I guess they'd have to have. I guess a bounty would have to be uh, created uh, once you the, you can prove that he's alive. Uh, uh, mm-hmm. Uh, it was considered a it was considered a low threat because we thought he was dead. Uh, the the bounty that's on his head at the moment is supposedly from the Hut Cartel. Oh, well, if they have information we don't, <laughs> that's disturbing. 
All right, I'll make I'll make some calls, uh, but I don't not sure if I'll be able to get to the bottom of this uh, quickly enough. All I can really tell right. you is that he was a corrupt official. Uh, he was born on Coruscant, uh, and should have been dead about seven years ago in a particular battle. Interesting that he would be hiding on Dantooine of all places. Well, I suppose uh, if Jedi are not uh, as welcome here, then it's less likely that he'd be found or uh, fenced. <laughs> all right. Well, you know, go about. Go I will about. find more information. Indeed. Aaron Tide, do you have any information? Aaron Tide's like literally just sort of zoned out. Like old man, like snoring. Yeah. <laughs> He's been on ice for a hundred years. Sort of yeah, thing. he has no idea what's happening. <laughs> yeah. There's a war between the Jedi and the Sith, actual Sith, not the Sith, the Reverend Sith Empire last time he was awake. Right, yes. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, so uh, Gemma is slowly healing in the Colto tank. Uh, uh, finally, through the help of others, uh, yeah, finally, through the help of others, Cutie Pie is getting healed, and Hyde, the H1D3, is currently in uh, the in, in the Colto uh, oh. sorry, near the Colto tank with Gemma, uh, watching. Uh, meanwhile, a rat and R U one two sorry R U one two, who's currently uh, flying <laughs> explosives into his spare head, is asked <laughs> by. I didn't tell anyone I was doing that. No, no, no. I'm not no, saying no, that no. people know. I'm just <laughs> saying I'm just saying that Rat is basically Eat gone. Man. Rat has been searching door to door for you. <laughs> and uh, knocks on the door as you're doing something scrupulous, unscrupulous. Hey, I wasn't doing anything like putting explosives anywhere. What can I help you with? Uh, hi, are you one too? Uh, I've just told by my master, Silver, that we're supposed to spar? Sure, okay. You good at chess? What's that? Are you good at chess? I need. Let's play Uno instead. It's more fun. What? Yeah, it's a card game. We can spar with the card game. All right. So, um, <laughs> uh, you you set up a game of Galactic Uno. Galactic Uno rules. It's space chess. You know, yeah. like in yeah. the oh, Millennium this... Falcon. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Galactic chess. Uh, Galactic rat... chess. Yeah. Uh, I can't remember the exact rules, but that's like the colloquial name for it. All right. So, uh, after uh, that, finding that ones, one. uh, set up. In the uh, ship, uh, so you guys actually did pick up a board from the mining facility, uh, and uh, she starts playing. At first, she's quite bad at it because she's blind. Isn't this the <laughs> the board? Yes, that is the board. Ah, uh, right. Yeah. I'm assuming they they they. Uh, so uh, at least take it away. Do not have yeah, yeah. game yeah. here. Uh, QT. Yeah, you know, BLT can probably pick it up and move it there. So they they uh they bring the board and they start playing and uh rat's kind of blind and only sees through the force so she can't see the holograms. Aww. <laughs> so she's uh she loses a lot the first few times. I explain it to her. Yeah, well she's learning, she's learning, but and she's and when you move that one, that's when he killed that monster. Oh, you've got to learn how to visualize stuff just by voice. That's what he's actually yeah. teaching. Yeah, so mm. Rat's, Rat's kind of learning. And no, she's... I'm not. I'm teaching her him how to distinguish a lie because uh, when she's winning, I lie and say that I'm winning. Yeah. So after we're losing uh, many rounds in a row, and then occasionally winning, so nearly winning some rounds, uh, she seems to be picking up the game quite quickly. Uh, however, she always looks like she's concentrating. Well, uh, quite a lot, as she's constantly re-visualizing the board in her head. <laughs> Just for descriptions of the pieces, um, mm. and I'm not sure what sort of a description you give, are you one who gives? Uh, no, you can go back to Silver and say that you kicked my ass. Alright, thank you so much, are you one too? You're this, welcome, I, this... I learned a valuable lesson, I hope you did too. Oh, this was nice. Yeah, let's uh, never do it again. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> All right. Uh, he comes back. Uh, yes. Right. Back to speaking explosives. Now, uh, Aaron Tide and Silver uh, effectively go, we have something to talk about. Anyone who wants to be involved sort of comes to the communal area. And they bring up, they effectively bring, uh, in the communal area, uh, to, are you one who's busy making explosives, unless you want to be there. Uh, effectively, you get a call on your comm saying, uh, there's something we need to discuss. Uh, meet us in like twenty minutes in the uh, near Bob's bar. Us. All right. Every, uh, yeah. 
Everyone except for Gemma, probably. <laughs> Everyone except Gemma uh, comes in and says, "Look, uh, I'm glad that we've been making." Uh, Sylv uh, Sylvana says, "I'm glad that we've been making progress here, but there is still something that needs to be talked about. This no. ship." has bounties on it. And obviously we were going to rename the ship. I mm -hmm. believe what you found, uh, the Century Drake or whatever it was going to technically be. But there's another Rain important that. thing as well. When we register this ship with the Republic, it needs to be... It needs to have a new captain. <laughs> I'm sure, afraid we've, uh, sh I'm afraid we've waited as long as we can. A captain needs to be chosen. I think it's the guy who... That old bloke that talks too much. Is that who's telling us now? Who's no, talking no, about no, no, no. Uh, Sailor, Silver's, my master. Silver's master. Aaron yeah. died. is just kind of nodding and looking at people. As a, it, Perfect. <laughs> By the time they oh, question because... him about anything, they'll be bored to tears. We'll get away with anything. <laughs> because, yes, because the, the previous captain uh, doesn't own the ship anymore. Well, isn't on the ship anymore. Isn't on the ship anymore, yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. Uh, but me to be captain? I've never done such a thing before. Uh, if, if, it, if, it, if it's unanimous. Well, that's my vote. If that were out, they can pick yourself. I deliberately didn't attend because I knew he would be there. So BL <laughs> is translating through his microphone. Uh, you just hear, like, really soft. No, 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 no. no. Oh, God, no. no Anyone not, but not, him, not please. Tired, please. You <laughs> not have anything else to do with your life. Why it. do we trust a uh, brand that is used to clean clothing? Uh, so what? Well, actually... Um, I I would suggest the pilot be the captain, the best pilot, and that would be Gemma. <laughs> no, what? no, I think we make uh, Cutie Pie the the, the captain? captain. Yeah, absolutely. I do want to own a planet. She makes so many decisions on behalf captain. of all of us all the time. <laughs> captain, not uh, emperor. Well, Captain Roll might as well keep it going. While the Captain Roll could go to Cutie Pie. Uh, droids can't own the things. Legally. Yeah, logically, I don't want to be reset because I own a ship, Soz. <laughs> I think that making Gemma the captain would be hmm. a fine thing. I mean, who else would be going to make the captain, says Sylvanas? I mean, I vote. Pablo Star? Yeah. yeah, let's vote. Pablo Star. I vote that we uh, do that whole thing where we have two separate ships. One is the, the Millennium Ducky, which is the party ship. And the other one is the bounty hunting ship. And we just change the thing, and whoever is the, the ship's name that we're using is the the thing. So, like, uh, Gemma can own the Millennium Ducky, and Aaron Tide can be the <coughs> scapegoat for the uh, whatever else we were going to name it. I think that could, uh -huh. uh, that could work. It's a bit unscrupulous. I didn't understand uh, what that. What does unscrupulous mean? Uh, <laughs> immoral? Uh... But, not quite. You know, no, not quite immoral. Yeah. With, well, without without scruples. Yeah. <laughs> scruples. I've never are... had a scruple within my circuit. Yeah. Uh, you so know, true. I think I would have to agree. We'd have to, uh, we'd have to spend some time on the ship. You know, uh, working, uh, working through to try to get two different uh, ID badges. You know, the the, <laughs> the ID signals. But you know what? Well, it could be fine. I think LED lights. I will. Separate ones. I will, I will put through, for at least now, that uh, Gemma shall be the captain of the, the ship. The Millennium Ducky. Of the Millennium Ducky. Yeah, that was a mix, I think, Simon from our chat. Yep. <laughs> it said Millennium something, and then we, we met halfway and chose the Ducky of Millennium because we didn't want to lose the duck symbol yeah. completely. We just paint it yellow, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, I think it's the most stupid name I've ever heard, but it makes sense because there was once a Millennium Falcon. So, yes. <laughs> well, there will be. No, no, no. You, oh, this is be. a prequel. This, is, well, this yes. is what the Millennium Falcon's named after. <laughs> of course. <laughs> uh, why would we name it the Millennium Ducky? That's kind of lame. What yeah. about Falcon? Uh, I can right. that one. <laughs> I will. I've got an idea. Uh, as she's sort of typing in the, uh, mm -hmm. as she's sort of typing into her data pad, uh, this, shall, this ship shall be known as the Millennium 
uh, and then she puts brackets, uh, uh, brackets 100, because she's, uh, because this is like a technical name for the ship, mm -hmm. brackets 100, duck, dash, y. <laughs> oh, I hate that. I just want the word ducky. <laughs> Sorry, duck, dash, e. E. <laughs> it still makes me uncomfortable. Oh, well, it's okay, cutie. You're not no, the No, my circuits are short circuiting of uncomfort. <laughs> I didn't think I would ever feel feelings, but boy, does this hurt. <laughs> ah, welcome to be alive. I'm the Millennium Ducky. And then I'll, I have, there's a section for a nickname. Does anyone want a nickname for the ship? Registered? We, yes. it's, it's completely optional. <laughs> not at the moment, maybe. There's not a little asterisk. <laughs> I have a, we put it in a language that does not exist. All right. Uh, <laughs> that later. Ancient Jedi? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, well, I think we've. Uh... I'm trying to think of a cool name for the spaceship. Or Ducky. is it going to have? Or does it have to be something with duck? Does it have to be something with duck? Doesn't it? No, it's uh, already been named. Uh, I heard uh, you get a speeder and you name that a cool thing because speeders are actually cool. We're walking around in can a giant. It, can we call it? We don't give a duck. Yeah. <laughs> that could be the in brackets name. Yeah, that's the. Uh, yeah, we don't give a straight. Straight. It's French soup. <laughs> uh, as soon as Gemma wakes up, I'll give her the good news. Of course. <laughs> now, uh, so, yeah. So, after sort of going through, you've been knighted, you've been talking to Bob, uh, Bob's, mm -hmm. uh, Bob uh, and Kevin. The builder? Yeah. Bob the bartender builder. Uh, Bob, Bob the bartender the is, you know, sort of going through. He's uh, all through this, by the way. There's just some, through this conversation, there's just some random dudes <laughs> drinking. All <laughs> oh, right, uh, first um... <laughs> entertainment. Where the duck did this guy come from? What? Oh. They're paying customers. Oh, yeah, from the oh. the party boat. <laughs> oh, perfect. Hey, we needed a captain. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah, so uh, you've sort of gone through, and yeah, the party, the party has named the duck, gotten the thing. Everyone who's capable of getting a force point gets a force point. Right. Uh, the droids get a cult point to yeah. be spent and made up at your own uh, desire. Now it's uh, the, right. the rest of the, the rest of the sort of night sort of passes by. Uh, the, the the party takes the opportunity for a well earned break slash drink slash whatever <laughs> the rest of the party wants to do. Uh, in fact, um, and uh, Gemma's nice. Gemma's actually almost completely uh, fi fixed, uh, the, except for uh, an arm. Yeah. <laughs> now, technically, as... sorry. yeah. Sorry, I think technically the uh, coat. Uh, no, it's not coat. It's a bacter. They can probably grow it back, sort of thing. But yeah. we don't have that. <laughs> no, that's lame. Human flesh is so lost to yesterday. It can't... I'm just gonna <laughs> make a new arm. <laughs> How the way Colto and bacter actually works in the law is it speeds up uh, your natural uh, healing mm. immensely. It can't grow back something you can't normally grow back. Right. It just heals scars and heals other things, but you know, uh, yeah, that's uh, Vader, for example, uh, had almost uh, nightly um, back to tank uh, things, but was still covered in scars. Yeah, yeah. Because you know, it can only do so much. <laughs> anyway, uh, yes. Uh, so uh, modifications. <laughs> now let's talk about what's his name. Uh, Lord Tarkus. Lord Tarkus. Lord Tarkus. And, right. So uh, yes, he was. Um, he was actually a member of the Republic, uh, but when Revan uh, changed sides, if you like, and attacked, he joined up with the Sith and uh, started working with them. Mm. According to uh, my master, he should have been dead seven years ago. So he must have either faked his death, or he is dead, and the information that your bounty hunter acquaintance has is wrong well, deliberately a setup time. just saying yeah it mm. could be mm. well well we've got the offer do you want me to maybe confirm the offer uh i'd say if we can bring him in and find out uh well I send radio signal to the um to the huts uh, or, or the bounty group or whatever to find out if, if, the, if the price is correct. Because if it's incorrect, that's probably a trap. 
Well, remember though, there's a he a price on your head, so it might be better if you've got the context to have somebody else. No, I'll find make... out anonymously. Hmm. Right. <laughs> okay. You know who I think would be great for this task? Mr. Tide. <laughs> no. Well, he will bring him in alive. Hello, I am Aaron Tide. <laughs> Why? Why do I have to use a data pad? What's wrong with a good old phone and uh, comms communica <laughs> communication? Ah, well, all you young, all you youngins, we'll, uh, we'll spending so much of, time on your data pads. We we're thinking of using uh, space pigeons. Ah, yes, I, I believe they were called clay pigeons. I'm sure that's not. <laughs> I'm sure that's right. I'm sure it is. Thank well, you, Aaron. Uh, yeah, Master. Thanks. Hello. Yeah. And get off the <laughs> channel. Okay. Because <laughs> I'm sure even Pablo Star probably has uh, um, contacts, maybe with the uh, yeah. within the hut. Did, did he have things with the huts? I'm pretty sure the huts didn't want him there. Oh, you've got a point there. Yeah. Mm, well. Right, I'm if you can do it anonymously, then that's fine. I'll I've see got... if I can. Can I, Freddy, or is there a way to do that for myself? Or uh, yeah, no, absolutely. It'll just be a computer use role. Um, trying okay. to yeah, I'm um, trying to uh, sort of get okay, into the systems that, anonymously. Then. Yeah, if you fail, oh. they might know it's you. <laughs> How does that work? Well, if you you try to you try to sort of get into their systems, uh, uh hiding your tra covering your tracks. If you fail, they can see your tracks. That's plenty. You're able to get into the system, and you, after spending a while looking around, like maybe like 10 or 20 minutes, spend any longer, the chances of them finding you skyrockets, uh, you find out that there's no bounty on this guy. Right. Uh, at least not one with the huts or the exchange. Well... Thank goodness. Hey, um... Thank goodness for Cutie Pie letting me in on that it could be a trap. <laughs> However, uh... I would have walked into that blindly like an idiot. However, um, he is considered an enemy of both the Huts and the Exchange. Uh, just a neutralized one. Right, so they enemy already think he's dead as well. Yep. Um, okay. That's good to know. Yeah. <laughs> is your bounty hunter friend have a bounty? Let's check. <laughs> uh, no. Okay, hey. uh, after, after spending a little bit more time in the system, nope. uh, he does not have a bounty. However, he is currently assigned to collect yours. And how much is that bounty? Uh, that bounty <laughs> is... Uh, it, uh, last time he mentioned it, it was 15,000 credits, mm -hmm. but it's gone up to 16,000 credits in that time. <laughs> Apparently it goes up 1,000 credits every day you're not found. Well, that's, that's pretty good. Uh, it's open, however, uh, they keep track of who specifically is looking for you. At the moment, mm. it's just him. Uh, yep, yeah, okay, and well, that's after, cool. after about 20 minutes, uh, you close the connection so they can't trace you back. Done. Well, mm. that's interesting. What's that? Well, just what Freddie said about what I found out. <laughs> <laughs> so most likely he is dead and it is a trap well, they don't know about him so yeah he's obviously setting up some kind of trap so mm. uh let's see what can we do about this trap wait first are we gonna are we gonna bother with this guy well why don't you just we... interrogate him we invite him over to get him drunk I invite okay. him to a robot him over. A minute, isn't he a bot? No, he's not a bot. No, I mean, what is he, Freddy? Oh, oh okay. He is a he is a Rodian. He Rodian. is a uh, so they're the the sort of bug eyed yeah, yeah. uh, little Rido. Rido, yeah. Yep. And he has a black uh, a black oh, like leather. Uh, yeah, exactly. He is okay. a black leather coat and a black leather hat. Let's get him. Uh, let's get him drunk. Let's have, let's let's invite him to a party time. There is a drug dealer somewhere. Yeah. Oh, um, uh, also other things that sort of uh, went off. Uh, mm -hmm. You still have the Mandalorian. He's now dressed in mm -hmm. beautiful uh, uh, cloth things. You also have a message from the uh, from the local bounty office, mm -hmm. uh, oh, saying wow. that uh, saying that they want to talk to you about him. Ah, oh, we're good. I've already clothed him. 
Yep. <laughs> if I spend money on a thing or a person, then it's gonna give it like up. they're mine. Yeah. All right. So the rest of the night sort of passes uh, uneventfully, uh, mm -hmm. other than that message, and uh, you send. Uh, yeah. And the next morning, uh, I guess you send a message to uh, Jarol. Oh, he wanted to get him drunk tonight. Oh, sorry. Yeah. No, my bad. My bad. Yeah, you invite yeah. you invite ja, um you invite ja Roll over. Just tell we're, him that we're, we're still thinking about we're it. We're waiting for the last it, yeah. person. To but we've up. got free drinks for him. We've got free drinks in the meantime. Half price, half price. We're not we're not running a charity <laughs> here. Also, it's right. on our bar. We just get profits from it. All right. <laughs> uh, he eventually sort of turns up. No, no, to I won't say like it's mine. I'll just say I'll meet you at the Century Duck. It's here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. He. I'll further discussion. Comes to the location. Uh, he realized that he has uh, several different u modified utility droids uh, <laughs> just for all the sort of different tasks. One drives him around, another one uh, shoots people who he doesn't like, you know, just sort of oh. general stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And then he sort of arrives and he goes, okay, I just want to say, before I come in, mm. I have taken off most of my weapons once again, but I have yeah. these. He pulls two. Uh, he pulls back his coat. And he has two thermal detonators. Detonators <laughs> uh, that are armed. Oh, cool! If, if I die, do you die. I'd rather a gun, if I'm honest. <laughs> uh, well, I don't know what the establishment says about it, but yeah, sure, whatever. Come in and have a drink anyway. <laughs> Imagine if there's establishment rules. Okay, no more than one <laughs> thermal detonator. <laughs> So you have to leave one at the door. <laughs> so basically, yeah, it's it, it's connected to a heart. It's connected to a heartbeat switch. Uh, mm -hmm. Effectively, um, if he feels like he's in danger or activates it, he explodes. Mister Jaru, <laughs> I'd like you. I'd like to introduce you to Cutie Bot. You've already met, but I would like you to uh, have a bit of a discussion with Cutie Bot. And, All right. You know, this is where this is where we're we're currently at, right, Cutie? What? Right. So Tell him. Tell are him. too many of those alcoholic droid drinks. Why am I outside not making an arm? What? I I greet him as I've been summoned into the conversation. Yeah. Hello! Uh, I hello. am that bunny that kept interrupting you. Ooh. Uh, hello. Uh, so you guess you guys wanted to talk to me about something? Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. Alright, well, how are you? Are you ready to make some money? Are you ready to, to have some nice drinks? Have you met Bob? I haven't. I haven't. I can't say I've had the, had oh, the pleasure. Oh, you have to meet Bob. Come in, come in. What's up? I'm Bob. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the Bob voice. Hey, Bob. <laughs> it's Ringo. <laughs> uh, yeah, of course we're interested in the money. Yeah, for sure. All right. Uh, but, um, but... I'll just keep getting him drunk. So, I mean, what's with well, the thermal please. detonators, really? Uh, I, I just uh, wanted some insurance. Some mutually assured destruction. Oh, you're into insurance! House? A uh, ship? Lightsaber? What's your uh, deal? Life. Life? Life insurance. insurance. Oh, I can't <laughs> buy that. <laughs> hmm. I think that's one of my funny... Anyway, um... <laughs> All right, uh, yes, please, uh, give me something strong. You realize that he, uh, you didn't sort of notice before, but his voice sort of keeps changing. He apparently, he seems to have a voice modulator sort of built into his throat. Well, uh, oh, good, is there, some kind of, is there any way to see through any disguises that may be on him? Uh, uh, sure, uh, that would be a, not a will, sorry, I'm just checking German's character sheet. Uh, that would be a sense motive. Yes. Mm. I'm pretty sure that's a false thing, isn't it? Nope, that's, no, that, no, everyone no. has that. Oh. Despite the word sense, everyone has that. That's just trying to th tell if someone's lying to you. Uh, oh. Sense motive. It also it what? also works for disguise. Robots well. have that? Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh. You're alive. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I sense motive and get 19. Is that good enough to if see if he's like. like he's what? a she? He's uh, a she, or is it maybe. If he is friend? him. Is, uh, it, is it, it someone else underneath that? Uh, so with a 19, you're not sure if it's a disguise or not. Uh, okay. At least with the voice modulator, 
it's there to replace a damaged voice box. Okay. His voice sometimes works, but when it sort of peters out, the modulator takes over. Right. Okay. Uh, yes. So, uh, yeah, and well, we're thinking maybe we could raise the money and see if we can get it higher. Maybe we tell the huts we could get it even higher. What do you reckon? I never said the bounty was through the huts. Oh, who's it through then? Uh, Didn't... I can't tell you until you accept. But there is a. I can't, I can't accept until you tell me. We're at a standstill here. It's I... the the exchange. The huts are not the only bounty organization in the galaxy. Oh, well, that's how I met you. So I figured. Well, um... you know, I took. Th I I am here on the pretense of hunting you, but I received another job offer. Cool. A different organization. And you don't want to say who that's from, right? Uh, look, but they, where I'll they be, prefer, but, where, but, that, but I'll be working for them. They I'm prefer, the they prefer so. I don't mention it. We're at a standstill. Looks like All you're right. stuck with one job. All right. Idea. Yep. I'll fix your voice box and you tell us who it is. Can't do. They're more dangerous than you guys. <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, fair. Uh, so while all this has been happening sort of thing, yeah, I'm just Please use to... effect mind. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, come on. Oh! Natural 20! <laughs> you want me to roll again? Nope, that, you don't need no. to confirm, to, you don't need to confirm <laughs> skills. Cracked as well. So. Uh, yes. So oh. with a, with a um, natural 20, he is so, suddenly soft and pliable and suggestible. Ooh. His hands come off the thermal detonators. They're still connected to his hearts, but he can't uh, press yeah. them. So... Hello. Uh, hey, now we've answered your question, so can you please answer ours? Who is the um, hit out the bounty out from? Sort of starts to like sort of itch and mm -hmm. uh, uh, sque uh, squeeze his eyes closed, like he's squinting because there appears to be some sort of mental block of uh, um. making him not tell. But it, it, you you break through it pretty easily. Yeah. <laughs> the Geno Harden hired me. What? The, Geno, the Geno Harden are a secret bounty organization. Only elite, uh. Uh, only elites are allowed. They're known for being morally ambiguous, but pay the best of any organization. They do not allow new members without a test. Ah, and this would be your test. <laughs> uh, I am already a member. This would oh. have been ru one twos test. I see. They've had oh. their eyes on him for a little bit. <laughs> um. Oh yes, well. Hard to get. <laughs> um. Well, it's a. Uh, uh. All right. In fact, mind sleep. <laughs> for a sec. <laughs> oh, he's so drunk, my good friend. What are you doing? Yes. <laughs> When he wakes up, we just tell him that he passed out from too much drinking. <laughs> we'll disable the thermal to... detonators just in case. I was about to say, as, you, as, 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 he goes means... to, as he goes to sleep, his heart rate changes and the thermal detonators start beeping. Oh. Yeah, disable them quickly. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, give me, uh, get, uh, both disable of you, both of you give me a repair roll or just, no, disable device. Disable device yeah. is perfect. Oh, no. What? You don't have disable oh, device? Oh, no, I do. And I'm good at it. Right. <laughs> uh, uh, Wait, does it not get a natural it's, one? It's, it's this Wait. button, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, after press, uh, are you one two presses both of them to turn them off, uh, accidentally turning them on and be making them beat faster. Cutie bot flies out and like starts like like you know a bit more clumsy than usual, smacking them, and they uh, they do become disabled, or at least. No longer connected to his heart rate. Can I pocket that? Uh, <laughs> they appear to be attached to his cybernetics. Oh, they're like lungs. What yeah. part bombs? Yeah. Uh, now that you've actually got a chance to look at him while he's, you know, defenseless, the man mm. is pretty much more droid than a Rodian at this point. Mm. Several different Can organs. Can I check out his stats? Yeah. Can I hack him? <laughs> Absolutely. 
<laughs> I only want information. I don't want to actually do it. Uh, maybe we shouldn't hack him. But I'm proficient in data pads. I know, but you know, <laughs> he's he, he, at least he told us, right? Mm. Okay, yeah, at, uh, yeah, at I... least like lay him on the couch or something. So he's yes, not... of course. Yeah, oh. yeah, like. <sighs> Pick him up and put him on the don't couch. Hack and... someone's brain, cutie pie. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind. I mean, usually I just like shooting them. <laughs> I don't want to really screw around with their brains. Yeah, I mean, and once again, this guy is the closest, one of the closest things you've had for a friend. Once again, still yeah. not that close. No, nah, I've got new friends now. Exactly. Cool. But I, I don't want to mess around with my old friend's brains. Yeah. Can I fix well, his voice box while it's attached to him? Um... Sure. Uh, give me a quick repair roll. Cool, because it purely annoys me, despite the fact that I cannot hear it. <laughs> oh my god, what if he wakes up and, and he realises that, you know, it's that uh, was his, uh, his personality to scare people? <laughs> uh, the <laughs> voice... You know, you know that the voice box is working as intended. Oh. <coughs> uh, That's uncomfortable. It is uncomfortable. Um, you can make it so it's on all the time. But it seems to be, yeah, it seems to be only designed to take over when his voice fails. Has anyone heard of, you know, Harden or whatever this? Yep. Uh, Ask my master. Your master <laughs> has yeah. no idea. Who goes? Aaron. Ty. Aaron. Aaron. Aaron Ty. Yeah. That was going to be the second one. Pablo. Yep. <laughs> uh, Pablo, Pablo has. We should probably call him something different, shouldn't we? Uh, he's Pablo Pete Star. So Pete. You can just call him Pete. Yeah. Pepsi. <laughs> well, does anyone? No, I don't like Pete. No. You know Harden? All right, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, Aaron Tide, so, uh, pa uh, P uh, Pablo Star hasn't mm. heard of them, but right. he, uh, so he has heard well, maybe, like, in whispers. He doesn't know anything about them, but he asks Tarul. Uh, Tarul... Oh. Uh, oh. Sorry, Taruk, sorry. Who is Taruk? Taruk, the uh, Wookiee. Uh, oh, the duck, ducky guy! Uh, Taruk uh, goes on oh. to say... Uh, sorry, to, uh, yeah, so... Quack, quack. Quack, quack. Mm -hmm. Aaron Tide <laughs> says that they are an not ancient organisation, fairly new, at least when he was around. Mm -hmm. uh, but they, they just kind of... They're about the organisation with objectives. <laughs> Rather than being uh, purely, you know, like someone can hire them to make a bounty, they have their own objectives, which the world, mm -hmm. which they they don't publicly disclose, uh, and mm -hmm. all their bounties are working towards some overall over the uh, overall goal. Illuminati that's what, so, style. That's, that's yeah. what he sort of knows. Uh, mm -hmm. Meanwhile, Taruk oh, says, uh, "So thereafter, they wanted to destroy a gar uh, arms dealer. Would, is that?" What would you consider that to be like a uh, competition? Is that why they want them out, or uh, do you know anything about these uh, these um, Garen? Uh, well, I, in my day, they would knew. I don't know how they're. I guess they would be taking out competition or something similar. But who knows how their machinations have changed in the last Understood. hundred years? Uh, oh, at least, well, he's, at least he was nice enough to tell us where we're getting our money from, are we all prepared to try and take out this arms dealer and take Turok, the job? tell us well, more about it first. Uh, yeah, Turok uh, doesn't really have much information about the Ghetto Harden either, other than they were hired to... As a, other than uh, someone... They, they, when you become a member, not exclusively mm -hmm. a member, because he was kidnapped from... Uh, as a... He was kidnapped from as, a sheep uh, by yeah, one of yeah. their members. He had his right. brother and a bunch of other Wookiees. So he's obviously uh, not a fan. Mm -hmm. He also talked about how the person who captured him broke him. And mm -hmm. while he doesn't want to talk about it, he'll elaborate if he wants to. You hear a lot of no, quacks no. as he sort of talks about this. <laughs> <laughs> like, they were, they were yeah, the most yeah. things I've ever... <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. yeah. um, well, it would probably be good... Since that um, he's supposed to be dead, and these people seem to think that he's alive, um, yeah. we should uh, possibly. Sounds like a good job, really. I mean, I'm yeah. not dealing with the hut, so I'm happy to do it myself. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it is good if people don't come after us because they, we forgot to tell them about 
things and yes. stole you because you just came with us. Um, and considering, yeah, he was supposedly uh, not such a, he was pretty corrupt when he was part of the Republic, so and I'd say. Well, then we make friends with him. I'll give him my spare head and he can collect a bounty on it and <laughs> I'll get two birds, one stone. One will right. make some extra money and I'll get rid of this stupid bounty off my head. Yeah. Okay. okay. Oh, is there any bounties on us? Uh, <laughs> actually, I didn't check. It's <laughs> all about you, isn't it? <laughs> Come on, all of my team. Let's go do this for me. Right. Sure. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> all right, we do this for you. That's, we got a lightsaber for you. That's why I call you friends. Exactly. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. That's I now much. have that's to repay sure. you all. Um, doing at least one of your things. You're right. Yeah. Next we find him as uncle, and then we take over the universe. It all sounds very <laughs> fair. <laughs> Wait, so, so we after we deal with my problem, we'll yes. deal with Gemma's problem. Yes. And, and cutie pie. Yes, I have a problem. Ah, oh, it's, so, it's so sad. We should what? talk about it later in more detail. Ah, uh, cutie pie's problem. I don't own a why, planet. Why not now? Seriously, why not now? Uh, it just seems so first world in comparison. First world, second world, third. I'll go for all three. Honestly, I don't know how many are in the the solar system. <laughs> and also, we need to have Gemma here as well for us. Yeah. Because I'm sure cutie doesn't want to re- have to repeat herself. themselves. Yes. Uh, more than once. <laughs> Unless it's on a different planet each time. Right. Specifically, me saying, Welcome all of my minions. <sighs> I I need to the, continue writing problem, that script. I was just going to, well, I'll just take a gander, I guess, and say that if, if the problem that you have is that you're not taking over the universe yet, we'll be happy to help with that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even mean to make whatever face I did. <laughs> <laughs> that was just Cutie being like, yes! All right. Of course, uh, but Cutie can't make a face, so it's okay. <laughs> you, can, you, you can count on us because we're friends. After a while. Isn't that a song? <laughs> after a while, uh, uh, Ja Rule, so Ja Rule, <laughs> uh, wakes Girl. up. So it's Ja Rule. Uh, yeah, oh. uh, yeah, like his first name's just Ja. Uh, yeah, so after a while, Ja wakes up. And he goes, I oh, give him coffee. What ha- what happened? Uh, uh, we were drinking. Oh, uh, I mean, of course. Oh, you were drinking. <laughs> you were drinking. Of, of course. Uh, am I going to die? No. No. I noticed, no, that, uh, no, I noticed no. that my uh, thermal detonators aren't working anymore. Oh, you were going to die and I saved you because your heart oh. went down because you went to sleep and we were mm. all going to die, so... Uh, thank thank, thank you. Uh, um, disabled the thermal uh, detonator uh, so we didn't have to die. Yeah, feel free to do whatever you want, not on the ship. Thank you, I guess. And, uh, so uh, the answer we told you was welcome. yes. We're in, uh, we're in business? We're in business. Yeah. Excellent. Uh, look, and, I'm, I'm... and look, we, we definitely appreciate um, you being honest and telling us that, you know, where we're getting the money from. So um, I did with what? that honesty. Shut up. Shut up. No, seriously. You that... told us that we're getting the money from you. You're going to send it to us, right? No, 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 it wasn't. I'm going to be honest with you, seriously. I mean, you're an old friend. I mean, you did say that it was going to be, what was it called again? Uh, the Harbor. Yeah, them. Oh, that was, wow. That was them. And was... because of your honesty, that's why we decided to definitely do the job. Only on those grounds. Well, thank you, I guess. Now, let's, uh, uh, please uh, don't mention that I told you. Oh, no, we're getting the money from you. We understand that. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, uh, and he's, and also, are you one who's going to follow through and uh, give you the other head to take? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sounds good. I got, I got a bit of a present I want you to give to the hearts. <laughs> so after you do the collection, um, I'll give you another job, but that comes later. All right. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'll, of course, give you a share of your own bounty if it goes that way. All right, sweet. Well, I guess it's going to be more drinks to later on. Cheers. <laughs> All right, well, um... We should I, I meet, this... be meeting up with you to take on this Lord Tarkas. Honestly, I just, uh, I could go over the plan now. That'd be great. Uh, so <laughs> that would work, seeing as we have nine minutes left, or? 
Yeah. <laughs> so he uh, he comes up to the bar and he places yep. down a map. Mm-hmm. Uh, I okay. draw a map. Ooh, cool. <laughs> oh, I don't get to draw a map. You get to draw an auto map. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So, uh, so this is this is the rough map of the facility. He oh, has. Is this a map within a map? Yep. <laughs> Mapception. This is Mapception. This is awesome. Yep. Mapception. All right. Let him continue, please. So he. Uh, so he first. He first thing he sort of talks about is that the bronze walls on the outside are enormous and electrified. Uh, these uh-huh. these are maybe uh, twenty to t- uh, thirty meters tall. He hasn't uh, uh, measured. Yep. Yeah. Uh, uh, huge uh, steel and uh, ju- uh, so dual um, steel walls. Does uh, electricity work the same in Star Wars? Like, could we just earth that thing or short it or something like that? Yes. Okay. Uh, yes. Um, it also I appears to go. Fight. It also appears to go underground very uh, very far as well. Uh, <laughs> moving on to the inside of the facility. Uh, this appears to be once was a villa. A, a large amount of villas were built on Dantooine for the wealthy class uh, mm-hmm. back then, but he has been modifying them uh, mo- by modifying this one. Uh, any windows or doors are now heavily uh, barricaded. And he's also uh, been digging underground as well. Uh, what's uh, inside the facility, we don't really know, other than its uh, large size. Uh, you know, imagine a not the size of a Bunnings, but definitely bigger than a house. <laughs> okay. Right. Uh, other than that, so he also has a uh, other security systems, uh, droids, mines, mm. uh, and a bunch of other weapons sort of uh, going around as well. I don't really know how we're going to break in the actual building. Uh, it's definitely extremely well uh, guarded. It's extremely well defended. Perhaps uh, we might have to dig our way in or Blow it up, or I wasn't really a hundred. Wait, 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 Jerol, Jerol, do you have anyone on the inside, by any chance? Absolutely not. Mm, okay. Does guy think, receive any do shipments? You think, do you think he'd be uh, willing to take uh, odd workers here or there? Uh, Got it. I've never seen his face. He he never leaves the complex. Uh, I I've have seen that the on the uh, on this sort of top, he does occasionally receive packages. And other things, yeah. but they are delivered via large drone ships, unmanned drone ships. How large are the packages? Uh, ranging anywhere from a couple oh. of meters by a couple of meters to sometimes huge ship parts. At least that's what I think they are. How about oh, this? How about oh, that's how we get in? Why don't we cheese the place first? Why don't we keep an, an eye on the place? And as soon as they get a delivery, we chase the delivery truck down and, you know, with some strong arm tactics, ask what was delivered. We, there's, well, your strong arm tactics is going to be hacking into its brain. Yep. It's unmanned. You hate that, <laughs> apparently. Oh, it's unmanned. Sorry. sorry. It's yeah. hacking into brains. <laughs> oh, okay. No, well, sorry, sorry, it's yeah, a, hacking into uh, a um, computer brain. It's an unmanned drone. Uh, let me let me show you let me show you a thing. He sort of uh, uh, takes a piece another piece out of sort of the back of his Aww. neck, uh, another piece of robotics. <laughs> it's a it's a hologram recorder. He shows a live he shows a live feed of the facility from far away. You really can't see anything other than the enormous walls. Mm-hmm. Uh, but effectively a nice work. Then he uh, he rewinds uh, to a further thing to the last time they got a delivery. A mm-hmm. enormous, uh, enormous drone ship comes from out of the atmosphere, lands directly on the facility, uh, waits for a little bit, and then appears to come uh, go back up. Uh, it doesn't appear to spend me- much or any time on the mm-hmm. planet. It just makes the delivery and then goes back into the atmosphere. Through any kind of like you know, it has license plate type of deal with the. <laughs> Unmanned ship, like it appears that at one point, at one point, it had that sort of identification, but that identification has been either painted over or scratched out. Oh, right, yeah, okay, so he's, uh, yeah, he's definitely but... big fighting. Yeah. Okay. Uh, A few questions. Is there any aerial defense systems that you're aware hmm. of? Uh, as far as as far as I know, many. <laughs> and uh, how frequent is this ship of delivery? Well, uh, they seem to come not quite weekly. Maybe, let's say weekly, give or take a couple of days. Last one? Last one was about five days ago. Okay, so, so 
Within two days, another one will come. So we should monitor the outside satellites in order to see when an unnamed, unmarked ship comes into the atmosphere. Go up, board that, get inside that way. Exactly. But, but what we should do is not exactly on the first shipment, just stay inside the shipment and hide in there. What we want to do, I think, is we want to find out what's being delivered and then get out and wait for the second ship. So we know an how entire, to fly like, two weeks away. Yeah. Gemma that's still take has too an long. uncle. <laughs> yeah. And is there a time limit on catching this guy for you? Absolutely still- not. I've been here. I've been so here. We this- could do, so we could do Gemma's thing first if we need to. If he's okay with that. You have to talk to him too. I, I would prefer. Look. I, I don't think it would be okay enough wait. for me to wait. Now that, uh, yes. You wait, the higher his reward money goes up, right? This is true. <laughs> so if you just came with us... Yeah. ...to find yeah. the people, you might be of value to us, and then you can keep whatever the amount of money goes up on him. All right, but <laughs> if I go missing for more than a few days, the bounty is going to be put on me as well. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's why we're basically going to have to do this uh, this time. Yeah. Oh. Well, when I say miss- try- when I say missing, I all I really mean is non-communicative. Mm. Well, we really want to try and find out as much information as we can on this place. Have you ever <laughs> sent a long-distance communication from this ship since you got it, like from the planet since you got here? Ah, uh, yes, I've been saying the thing. They know Was that it- I they know that I've made contact with are you sorry they know that I've made contact with are you one two and they think I'm currently stalking him. Through this one satellite, perchance. Well, I guess. Uh, there's only so many satellites wait, between... Wait, uh, wait a minute. Hold out, hold out, hold out. Hang on. Wait, Jerome, wait, listen. It's These guys... The, the, bounty, the bounty on me, that's not these guys. That's not the guys that want this, right? No, that's that's the hot bounty. That's a hot bounty. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, that's cool. Just double check on that. Uh, the, Look, it's going to go the, up to... The organization mm. does uh, ha- is only aware of your existence. Doesn't have okay. any uh, doesn't have any reason not to trust you. Sorry, go on. Um, I was about to uh, ask my master if she could check to see uh, if there are any uh, details on this ship that comes down to this one spot regularly. Well, yeah, you can you can show uh, you can show the uh, video to whoever you want. Yeah. Um. So it appears to be a large, uh, a large sort of flat sh- black ship, with mm-hmm. four different engines, uh, <laughs> sort of pointed down that sort of work together to make sure this thing is upright. Mm-hmm. Uh, so uh, yes, uh, this appears to be a enormous. Uh, your master says it's an enormous delivery drone, but the company that made these went out of business a while ago. Right. You, Aaron, Aaron Tide chimes in that they were new when he was uh, thing. Uh, as it turns <laughs> out, the uh, there was too many fires in the Amazon. So, last question before we head Please. off the spaghetti. Um, is it likely that these uh, defense systems have detectors that can tell if something is human on board a ship? Uh, we would have to have some sort of um, dis- uh, not disguise of. Sure. Something to interrupt that because <laughs> you know the whole killing of you guys. Well, I it's a possibility called... we send in the droids and you take down the force field or whatever and get us in. We just blew them out. As uh, if you guys wanted to end up having a stealth, or uh, we might as well just go blazing. But we'll have to figure that out later. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, all right. Well, once we find out more information, I guess then we can make any... If this is all the information yeah. we have, Freddie, then we'll make our decision next week, I guess. Yes. Uh, one other thing. Uh, the uh, Javril says, if possible, I would like to go with RU12's plan, whatever it is. As, what? uh, just because this is an audition. Mm-hmm. Now I don't ah. mind what plan you go with, but he should he, take the credit. He should be the last. 
make the final decisions. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't no, no, think not... so. No, I've got friends for a reason. See. See, no, that that's <laughs> that's fine. You see, whatever, whatever you do, if you just if you listen to your friends or whatever you need to do, you uh, yes, uh, I I okay. don't mind at the end of the day. At the end of the day, I'm doing this to get paid. Anyway, absolutely. Yes. Uh, anyway, uh, thank you guys so much. Thanks everyone watching. Thanks everyone who uh, is watching in the future. I've mm -hmm. been Freddy, and I was the GM. Been Brina. I've been the murder robot bunny. <laughs> I'm Judith, and I was Silver, the now Jedi Knight. <laughs> Congratulations, and I've been Joe. Are you one too? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Next time. We'll see you all next week, and don't forget we'll also stream on Wednesday. Bye, guys. See ya. Bye. Good night. Bye. Bye, Tank.